I, I love the premise of the show. Smart people talking about dumb shit. I think, I think it's dumb people talking about, about smart, smart shit. Oh, we go where we not supposed to go, baby. The Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Yep, Charlemagne the God, uh, the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Today's episode is brought to you by Freeze Pipe. Freeze Pipe, makers of the smoothest hitting pipes and bongs around. Today's episode is brought to you by Freeze Pipe. We thank Freeze Pipe for sponsoring the Brilliant Idiots, man. Each Freeze Pipe product uses freezable glycerin chambers that cool smoke by hundreds of degrees. Pop one of these glycerin chambers in the freezer for one hour and the smoke passes through the icy chamber. It's instantly chilled for a bigger, colder, and smoother hit. Say goodbye to throw the chest burn. Freeze Pipe offers a luxury smoking experience at everyday great prices. Totally understand why people like Freeze Pipe because it's that burning sensation. Like, nobody likes the burning throats. Nobody likes the coughing too much when you light up. So visit thefreezepipe.com and use code IDIOTS for 15% off. That's thefreezepipe.com. Use code IDIOTS for 15% off and say goodbye to harsh cannabis smoke. Visit thefreezepipe.com and use promo code IDIOTS to save 15% off your first order. That's promo code IDIOTS to save 15% off your first order at thefreezepipe.com. Let's start the show. Uh, Big Wax is here. Yeah. Tramp Lactus. NYLA is here. Yes. Young Nyla. Yes. Uh, yes. Our guy, Andrew Schultz, is not here this week because, uh, you know, we, we started recording on Tuesdays, but um, we couldn't get in this Tuesday. So we're here on a today. When you hear this is when we finished it. Right. And Andrew Schultz has two big shows this Saturday at Radio City Music Hall. Okay, drop. I, I was gonna say drop on the clues bombs, but I, Taylor's not going to insert, so there's no need. <laughs> um, drop, <laughs> all right. But salute to my guy Andrew Schultz, man. Um, couldn't be more proud of him, man. This is what we said we were going to do all this time. He always announced it. I'm going. This is what we going. We to. will be there. We will be there this Saturday to watch yeah. our guy. Yes. Um, it's a big deal. I think the only thing big in New York is Madison Square Garden. Wow. Well. So for him to have two shows at Radio City Music Hall, he said Fire. he don't want to risk losing his voice. So we just going to be there on Saturday hoping he don't Will Smith himself. Professional. <laughs> professionally they do it, though. He could professionally do it. He said what? He could professionally Will Smith himself. Oh, yeah. Slap the shit out the audience in a <laughs> That's good way. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I, I can't wait. I have no doubt uh, yes. Schultz is going to do his thing, you know? So mm -hmm. we'll see y'all Saturday at Radio City for whoever's going to check out our guy Hezzy, two sold-out shows. And uh, we'll see him back here next week. But let's, how was y'all week, man? Bless Good week. Now. I can't complain. What'd you do? Anything fun? You know, I worked. Okay. The interviews. Okay. The weather is nice. Okay. Finally. Okay. So, yeah. Are you wearing real deodorant? Yeah, I always no, wear real The only deodorant. reason I say that because a lot of, you know, girls who are natural, they do the rock. What's the thing? That's the rock deodorant? Crystal. That they put on, crystal. Crystal. Yeah, that they put under their arms and, like, they, are they charge the, the crystals. girls that are natural? No, a lot of girls that are yeah. natural are doing that, especially that, that, That's why they COVID. all got nice cut-up arms because you have to do it, like, 200 times. That's right. <laughs> they do it. For real. So I fall into the category of girls that are natural? Why are you sitting like that? Why not? See, you, why are you messing up my zen? No, yeah. You, <laughs> it you, just you, doesn't you, look comfortable. That, that, like I, 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 I just started doing that. You, you aligning your chakras. Yeah. Sure. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's how you're you lying. Why, why are you sitting like that? I always sit like this. But no, salute to all the girls out there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> using the, crystal, the crystal rock deodorant, you know what I mean? But, you know, they, that, that, that first day of 80 degree weather in New York snuck up on them. Make sure you throw your right guard on. You Stop. know what I mean? Don't get caught. No, for real. Don't get caught out here, man. That musty shit is real. It's real well, they yeah. do say that deodorant causes cancer. What do you mean? Like you're not you supposed to put it on when you're fresh out the shower because all your pores are open and that it can mm. cause cancer. Mm. So that's what you, all stink girls going to use that. It's worth it, though. Tell, no, you should just wait until your pores close and then apply it. How do you know when your pores close, though? How, just not when you're fresh out the shower. So give it like 10 minutes and before you leave the house, apply it. I don't put deodorant on at the house. When you put no. deodorant on. When I leave the house. Like, if I take a if I go home right now and take a shower, I'm in the crib. I'm not yeah. doing nothing to get musty. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm so not one of the musky guys anyway. Yeah. So, if when I leave yeah. the house, you put it on. But nowadays, you can be musty and it'll smell like kush. So, you probably can get away with it. <laughs> it smells like weed? Yes. Just keep a bag on you. Or <laughs> <all the time. laughs> cover it up. <laughs> That's it. Like, what's that smell you pull it out of your pocket? That's it. That's it. I see. Uh, let's do some positively brilliant. What a fucking idiot, man. Um... It's a lot of interesting things that happened this week. First of all, let's salute our guy, DJ Khaled. Okay. Um, the reason I will always salute DJ Khaled, even though I think it's ridiculous that he had a Weight Watchers deal, <laughs> is, the <fact> that, <laughs> is the fact that DJ Khaled Took comes 
from radio, and this week he got a star on the Hollywood Walk Fire. of Fame. Yeah. Fire. When you talk about radio personalities that have transitioned to other things and popped off, DJ Khaled got to be in the top five of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the reason he's got to be in the top five of that is because I remember going down to Circle House back in the day when I was doing a and off and that was so deep records. This was like 2000, 2001. And my man Abibi used to always be like, yo, Charlemagne, you know, you you the guy on the come up in South Carolina. You need to meet uh, our guy here in Miami who's on the come up at WEDR. I think it was WEDR, 99 Jams. Mm-hmm. And he and Khaled used to do Friday and Saturdays 12 to 2. I never met him then, but I, BB would make me listen to him. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, he, and and he'd be like, oh, Khaled comes through here. But I never I never met him the times I was down there in Miami back in the day. But he used to always be like, this is the guy. And to see him go from that to getting a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Fire. Yeah. That's big. You got to salute Khaled. Uh-huh. Yeah. You got to salute Khaled. Who else did you say is in the top five from transitioning from radio? From radio? Yeah. Khaled. Luda. Wendy Williams. Luda, right? Yeah. Yes. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. The only reason I say I don't know because I don't really know. How... Yeah, no, 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 not Luda because Luda used to do nights. I'm bugging. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I was about to say, I don't know how many, how many shifts Luda did when he was on radio in Atlanta. But now... Nah, Ludacris, Wendy Williams, DJ Khaled. Who are my other top two from radio? Beetlejuice. It's a good top three, though. Beetlejuice. <laughs> Who? Beetlejuice. He was on Howard Stern, and now he's doing his thing. Beetlejuice. I don't know. Yeah. Who's my top five? I don't know if there's a top five. I got Those are my three, though. Luda, Wendy Williams, and DJ Khaled. Yeah. I know I'm missing some people, but I'm, I'm, no, I'm not. Who am I missing? I'm not missing nobody. Top three that Martin, radio. Martin, well, Martin Show. That was <laughs> not radio? I'm just saying, yes, Oh, he was radio on the show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what's up? What's up? Oh, well, let me come, let me come back to that. But that's my top three, though. DJ Khaled, uh, DJ Khaled. I guess Lala. Lala right? was on the radio? Wasn't she on radio? She was down there in Atlanta with Luda. Them. I just don't know how much she did it. Wow. I don't know. Luda was actually a personality on all the time. I don't know how much La La was on. I don't know. But definitely Luda, Wendy Williams, and Khaled. That's a... That's they love her and, and um, Dr. Joy. They, they did some movies. Yeah, I mean, they still radio, though. Like, they're still, like... They in transition. Trying yeah, to say. they had a good transition, though. And love, yeah. people people sleep on Ed Lover. Ed Lover definitely has done a lot. Yeah. From movies, the Yo mm-hmm. MTV raps. Like, Ed Lover's name is in the is, is in them books. Yeah, for sure. For real, for real. So salute to Khaled, man. Star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Jeez. And I'm trying to think of what we saw Khaled acting. But I guess you don't have to be an actor or actress to get a star to in the act. Hollywood Walk of Fame, right? Greatest performance he ever did was for them Weight Watchers commercials, though. <laughs> being, on <that> damn, <laughs> being on that damn elliptical machine. Another trip. Another trip. Acting yeah, but... like he was losing weight. <laughs> we got that check. Doing them Weight Watchers sponsors. He didn't lose a pound. But I bet you Weight Watchers stock went up. Because yeah, Khaled sure. was endorsing him. Sure. Yeah. But you ain't never going to see no before and after uh, <laughs> commercial. Yo. I'm saying they got filters now. It's filters. Yeah, you ain't going to never see it. Um, Positively Brilliant, Rihanna on the cover of Vogue. Have you seen that? She's on the cover of Vogue with her belly out. Um, and she's talking about her relationship with ASAP Rocky and new music. And the reason I like that is because it is Black uh, Maternal Health Week. So that was a very uh, yeah. strategic Cover that I've seen a lot of pregnant women, a lot of pregnant women right now. Be- it, it, oh. Probably also because it's Black Maternal Health Week too, so you're seeing a lot more, uh, you know, people talk about it. So it's good to see her out there. Um, mm-hmm. She's she looks amazing with that stomach, bro. She looks great, yeah. man. I'm telling you. That, and I've been loving all the fits. Like she got her belly out every time I see her, yeah. and I would too. But she got a billion dollars, but yeah, yeah. But even without the money, there's nothing. There's nothing prettier than a pregnant woman. No, no, it's beautiful. I it call is it beautiful, it's man. Beautiful. I, yeah. I can't. I, 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 I've had four children. There's nothing like having that belly in the house. It's just yeah. something like. <laughs> no, I'm serious. When you that talk is. about people being full of life, like we use that mm-hmm. as a figure of speech. Yeah. Like she's really full of life. So when you see a woman glowing and you see uh-huh. like the breast starting the to get bigger and she's just starting to fill out like a kindergarten pencil, it's like, uh-huh. damn. Bella, like a kindergarten pencil? Number two pencil. <laughs> Never seen a kindergarten pencil the thick joints? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Yo. <laughs> like, why is that the same? <laughs> number three pencil. So that, so I thought that was positively brilliant. Um, I don't know if this falls under the what a effing idiot category, but I know it's up for discussion. Do we have, do we have the clip, Taylor? Can we, oh. 
Can we play the clip? It's not a clip. I thought it was a clip. No, 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 no. I'm talking about Cam Newton. Oh, okay. What's, what's up with Cam? What Cam doing? You didn't see it? Uh, play the play the play. The, he got he got somebody. I want to nobody pregnant. I want to know y'all thoughts on this. I had a, a perfect, a perfect example of what a man was in my life by my father. Mm -hmm. My parents has been together for 36, 37 years now, and it's and it's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I grew up in a three parent household: my mom, my father, and my grandmother. And uh, I knew what a woman was, not a bad bitch. Okay, what's the difference? A woman. Okay. A bad bitch is a person who's just, you know, girl, I'm a bad bitch. You know, I'm doing yeah. this, I'm doing that. I, 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 I look the part, but I don't act the part. Okay. You know, and it's a lot of women who are bad bitches. And I say bitches in, in, in a way not to degrade a woman, but... Just to 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 go off the aesthetic of what they deem is a boss chick. Mm -hmm. Now, a woman for me is handling your own, but knowing how to cater to a man's needs, mm -hmm. right? And I think a lot of times when you get that aesthetic of like I'm a boss bitch, like I'm a this, I'm a dad. No, baby, like, but you can't cook. Okay. You don't know. You don't know when to be quiet. You mm -hmm. don't know how to allow a man to lead. Sheesh. Take a deep breath. I'm about to say, can I even touch on this? Everybody, take a deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> and I would like to know your thoughts. <laughs> Nyla is the woman in the room. Shut up. I'd like to know what you think about that. Uh, don't react emotionally. Well, no, I'm that's not upset. It doesn't that's offend me. That's yeah. What do you think about that? I mean, how old is Cam Newton? Like 30 something. Like that's something TK Kirkland would have said when he was sitting here that one time. Something like that. I like, guess I would have said that. No, TK can't get a shot for no reason. That's not a shot. He talks like that. He oh, said that last okay, time he okay. was here, like okay. talking in place. Remember, he was like, I was talking out of turn. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah, bro, yeah. it's a podcast. But that was elderly. That was elder thing as opposed to. Yeah, gender. but it's, it, none of that matters in 2022. Ouch. It doesn't matter if you're older, younger. You should respect your elder woman. Respect your elder I wasn't or disrespecting man. him. It's a that's podcast. True, true. I hear what you're that's saying, true. but. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can't tell somebody be quiet on a podcast. Yeah, that's so you're like. Here, you're talking. Yeah. I, I think, <laughs> like, in the whole, like, bad bitch thing, like, I don't know. It, I guess it just goes down to preference, you know? Mm -hmm. Some men like. Women that are, you know, they take care of themselves. They want the latest and the greatest and this, that, and the third. Some people are into the image. Mm -hmm. Some people aren't. It's all about personal preference, but he shouldn't be shitting on one or the other. Like, you think he's shitting on somebody? Well, him saying that women need to know their place and when to talk. Like I don't that, think he said that. Take a deep breath, uh, wax, don't respond emotionally. Just, yeah, no, of course not. Um, I don't think he was saying that what you just now said. I think he was just saying they got to know when to be quiet. I'm saying that's for everybody. You got two ears and one mouth. Everybody talk too much. It's women, men too. Men talk a lot too. Men talk too much too. All right. So somebody should jump on you for saying that. So I don't think that he actually said anything really wrong when everybody need to know their place. I need to know my place in the house too. I think where he fucked up is by belittling bad bitches. Like, you know, like the bad bitches that can't they can't cook. cook. Well, I don't, I don't. But I think that. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a huge thing. You can't cook. People crack on me for not knowing how to cook. That don't got nothing to do with it. I feel like I'm a bad bitch. Can you cook? I don't got acrylic nails. I know how to cook. I like fucking hip hop and I'm a bad bitch. Like, and, and you, there's no you, labeling. Why like, do you call yourself the B word? All right, well, I'm a bad woman. And I don't think I don't think that you I don't <laughs> think anybody's a bad B if if the only thing that you're basing that on is your looks. I think I think it's everything that you, I think it's the things that you do. That's what he's saying. You know what I mean? And I'm not even just talking about cooking. I'm just talking about like you as a human. Like what what fly shit do you do? But that's what you he said. I mean? he, he said he said you look up the part, but you're not a part. Yeah, right? you know you, what I'm saying. You can't even call yourself a boss. How you can call yourself a boss B and you don't run nothing? But you look good on the ground. <laughs> like, but you look good on the ground. That's what makes you a That's all he's shit. saying? Well, back to the whole bitch comment. Bitch can be used as a term of endearment. Bitch can be used as, you know. For it, women, it, not for it, us. It depends yeah. on how you say it. I can never say, that's my bitch right there. I don't say that. If I say that, that shit sound. No, if yeah, I say that, 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 I don't think guys can actually say that. That's my bitch. Oh, like no. gay guys can say it, but, but I, I can't. Can I can't. I can never be like, "That's my bitch." You can't say that. I can't say that. When you say it's a you term don't ever say that, bro to bro. No, y'all nah. gonna live here. I've heard. Right I've heard, heard y'all talk. You that's my bitch. You never heard me tell that's my bitch. When you heard me say that, I probably said that bitch. When have you? I never say. 
<laughs> I don't even use that word to I, 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 I'm a, I can be a piece of shit sometimes, but I've definitely heard both of you guys say No, words. no. No, nah, not like Maybe that. Maybe if I'm referring to a man. Yeah, most likely. Definitely not no woman. Yeah, That's corny never, for us to yeah, say that. You never heard me say about a you woman. Need, you don't need to talk like that. I will say though, um, I agree with Cam. Me but too. The, here's the one, here's the one thing I have a problem. It's not even a problem, but it's just like everything he said goes both ways. That's literally, literally just every yeah. single thing Men talk he too said much too. Yeah. G- goes both ways. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just like a woman should cater to a man, a man should cater to his woman. You better. And sometimes I feel like a lot of people aren't like able to lead. That's the other Everybody part. not leaders. I've, That's right. Everybody not leaders. I've right. talked to a handful of people before that I felt like blindly in the blind. That's right. No help. So you can't say things like, yo, a woman got to let me lead. If you're a leader, she's going to follow. Yeah. Right. And vice versa. Yes, yes. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yes. I, I, it's plenty of, just because you're a man doesn't mean you're a leader. It's plenty of guys I can put in leadership positions. That motherfucker might lead you right off a cliff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, you can have a good leader, but you can't have a good follower. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a, it could be both ways, too. You can have That's a right. great leader, but somebody just don't know how to follow because... And then you get them in a, in a leadership situation and they drop the ball. You'd be like, you should wonder why you wasn't right there. And 95% of all leadership is through actions and deeds. Always. It's not words. Yeah, because like you, you got to convince me to that's follow right. you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then right. I got to question everything. That's yes. right. And I'm, I got to keep proving myself over and over again. Nah. That's right. I'm following you because I'm watching what you do. I see it I'm work. watching how you move yeah. and it's working. So I'm going to follow this individual. Uh-huh. So if, if if the the man don't want to follow the woman or the woman don't want to follow the man, it's clearly something they're seeing that's making them say like, ah, yeah, yeah. I don't like, I don't you like the direction you're again. going in. Yeah, you just made it again. If you made it. Yeah. If you made it. So it's like, for me, it's like, what, what, it, I, everybody went crazy. Well, I didn't see everybody going crazy. I just saw people saying what Cam said was misogynistic and sexist. I didn't take it like that. Big I took it as if you're talking about a relationship, everybody does have a role to play. Yes, you do. Right? Regardless of what that role is, everybody has roles. Like, I don't know role. how to cook. Know your role, know your place. But That's I know everybody. plenty of men that know how to cook. Yeah, I can't. Amazingly, cook. We, I know some great chefs that are men. Yeah. My father in law is a great chef. That's what my wife learned how to cook. I have no business in the kitchen. Cooking. Yeah, me neither. None. Whatsoever. I'm not seasoning. I'm not doing nothing. I, I'm trash. Me too. Like, All well, day long. The kids wouldn't want to eat. No, I'm not eating. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just like I have no business cooking. That's not a role thing. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? What was I doing before? Chicken McNugget in my life to death. Yeah, you said my mama, my sister. was sisters. asking me what was I doing before. We was fucking eating fast food yeah, and processed have, bullshit. Or have somebody, one of the girls or one of my boys know how to cook, yo, get the grill. When I was a bachelor, that was the worst part of my life. I was, I was never a bachelor, but when I was living on my own, I was, I was the worst life yeah, ever. Wow. But I, I was going to say, like, listening to this, though, it, it does make Cam sound, like, very traditional. Like, he has a problem with women who are in roles of businesses and stuff like that. No, I didn't, you I didn't that. that. I, I think what he was saying was when it comes to the baddest B thing and the boss B thing, he was like, what else do you have other than looks? Yeah, what's And that's up? real. <laughs> and that's real. <laughs> what else do you have other than looks? Yes. Like, that don't make you a bad B. Like, Cooking, cleaning, and nurturing for the uh, kids and stuff like that. That's huge. That's bigger than trying to look all good anyway. I hear that, but I feel like a lot of men, a lot of men say like, yeah, we admire those women who hold down the fort and do this, that, and the third. But you guys give a lot of attention and Instagram likes and comments to the bad bees. Who is you guys? I don't you pay men. attention to you that. Ain't talk, who is you, man? Don't, pay, don't put I, me in the category find, with you. I give you $10 you every one you can see me like. And you don't know what I identify as. So don't just be out here calling me a man. Well, what do you identify as? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you identify as? I am a as? spiritual being living a human <laughs> Don't piss me existence. Off. That's what I am. Okay. Okay, you spiritual being. I am being. trans angel. All right. <laughs> that's, what the, that's what the fuck I'm I am. Angel wings. Okay. Show me some respect. <laughs> okay. All right. Sharla, you and your kind. That's right. <laughs> Angels. You and your kind love these bad bitches on Instagram. Who is these? Nah. Who y'all, is it? Who listen, is this? Just, y'all like all their photos. You guys. You ain't never seen me like no girl photo on Instagram. Attention is current. Same. This is what I'm just getting at. Y'all love Same. bad bitches. Y'all give bad bitches a lot of attention. I don't like this y'all currency. thing. Because yeah. y'all, you must be talking you, you to a whole. You, you ain't talking to me either. You're not talking to a 43 year old faithful black male. I give you ten dollars for I, every one you see me like. That you're not faithful because you liking. You've never seen me like a picture of no woman on Instagram. Not one. Why would I ever disrespect my wife like that? It's not you disrespecting her because you like in the photo. I would never do this. That's not the point I'm getting at. That's really not the point I'm getting at. The point that I'm getting at. I get what you're saying. You're saying that men men give attention to the girls that. But then they're not the women you want. 
They're not the men you want. Y'all all attention. do it. I don't do it. I tell you, you I don't all do it. Do it. You, you guys will have a great woman, and then you guys will still be liking hoes on IG I or the bad bitches on IG. I will give you ten dollars for every girl you see. That I like I'm not ahead. about to go down and look through whatever y'all got going on because I I'm really don't, you, I don't care. Do I just know that I've been working with you guys for the past five years, and I overhear the conversations, and I've seen you guys grow. <laughs> okay. I don't think you've ever heard me have that. I'm conversation. not saying y'all doing Crazy that right Lord. now. Nolly, I don't think you've ever heard me have this conversation. No. I think you lumping me in with these yeah, people. Yeah, because <laughs> have you heard me have these conversations? And, and, and listen, you know me for a little longer, Nolly. Yo, I've known you guys for about five you years did now. Know Tell me, me my school me, because I want to know. I need to know when you saw me doing this. Oh, my God. Well, it's okay. I'm so it's happy not that okay. you see uh, the growth. Huh? I take the growth. <laughs> yeah, you need to take the growth. <laughs> when have you seen me have this conversation? Me. Maybe not you, for se. I, Maybe I'm not already arrested. <laughs> I done got locked up now. Well, I was definitely the cop. I done got locked up. You don't put all kind of charges on me for no reason. I'm sitting nah, there like, what happened? Maybe, Maybe not you, per se, but definitely just all... It's a gentleman's club. That's what men do. I don't know. That's what men do. I get it. But they're not the guys you want, though. They're not the guys you're looking for who actually all thirsty like that and want these type of girls. I've seen good men do it, too. Then they ain't the good man. They they disguise too. No, I'm not, saying, I'm not saying that I want these guys, but I'm saying like you guys give all this praise and attention to those people. They get currency based off that, but y'all don't give it to women who are actually out here like but trying. But who's going to win at the That's end? True. But who's going to win at That's the end? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you're not supporting me because you're not giving me the same attention and currency. That's what I'm saying. You, I know what you're saying. No, you're right. Then you want That's attention it. from perverts? You missing the whole point. Nothing I'm saying. posting is perverted. I'm posting work. I'm That's posting. That's why you want to get the people that do like it. Saying. That's the people you need to like. Yeah, yeah basically, you're, you're, it's, it's like if you're talking about a rapper, it's a rapper with substance and a rapper with no substance. And the ratchet shit is the shit that everybody gravitates towards. It's trending. It's going viral. Life. You guys are posting yeah, it. Yeah, I get Y'all it. talking about it. I get but then saying. people that's actually trying and actually putting like heart into their shit. I get what you're saying. It's it overlooked. Lasts I get what you're it lasts longer. I it lasts saying. longer, but we're not getting the same accolades. We're not getting the same attention. We're not getting the same support. So I'm saying the great men that you guys are, y'all should support that. I, no, I, I, get, do. I, get, I get what you're saying. I do support it. I get what you're saying. 100%. I get what you're saying. I'm I just, really I just, good guy. I just want, to, <laughs> I do want people to listen to what Cam said and just apply. If I'm, if I got any message for you when it comes to this, just apply it to both of y'all. Yeah. Men cater to your women. Yes. Women cater to your men. What else did he say? Mm-hmm. Compromise. And know how to shut up. No. Oh, no. That's the whole oh, time out. That's the biggest one. Yeah. No, that's the one I agree with the most. Yeah. And I'll tell you Which why. Which one? Know how to shut up. Men and women both got to know when to shut, shut up. the fuck up. But that's not what he said. I he know said that women need to know that's when right. to shut that's, up. That's right. And that's why, that's the problem I have with what he said. Even though it's not, no, that's not <laughs> that's true. That's not true. That's not true. No, no. And just in certain uh, situations, I think men want more peace and women want more of doing the organization. So they're going to, you know, express their feelings more. Not every men woman, not every woman does the organization. Sometimes the men are the organizers and the women are the one with so the there's, ideas. So there's women like, oh my God, this guy don't shut up. Yeah, but here's the thing. It's not about how much you talk. It's about what you say when you do talk. You could be a person yes. of, of few words, but those few words could be very toxic. Very those impactful. few words could be very, could cut you in yeah. a real way. You know what I mean? The biggest thing you're going to learn in any relationship when you're married, when you got a what significant other, is what the <laughs> what fucking say. say. Yo, as a father, <laughs> right, I can be in the house right now and hear one of my daughters say something and be like, boy, she's going to learn to be quiet playing around with, 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 with her mama. Like, I know immediately. <laughs> it's so, so, I'm like, I'm telling them, like, you got to learn to be quiet. Like, you know, there's you certain things your say. mama telling you to do that you're going to say the wrong thing and you're going to find yourself in trouble. Yeah. But that's not even just a, 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 a note for yourself as a mate. That's a note for your kids. Everybody, Everybody got to know how to know shut the it. fuck up. We talk about communication all the time. A, that's in all places. That's in all relationships. Work relationships. Yes. Like, that's not mm-hmm. just in relationships. And, and that's that's the, that's what Cam missed that. But it's supposed to start at home. Women got to know how to be quiet. Everybody has to know how to be quiet. Everybody mm-hmm. has to know when to shut the fuck up. It starts up. with the babies. Yes. Because I'm telling you, like that. the woman can say that one wrong thing, man, that'll bring you to your knees. Mm-hmm. A man can say that one wrong she thing to a woman meat. that'll bring it to her knees. <laughs> Like we, especially when you live with somebody and you've been with a person for a long time, you know exactly how to push push that knife on a person. You know how to push that button. Knowing how to shut the fuck up, whether you're a male or a female in a relationship is very important. Everything Cam said should be applied to both parties. If you apply it to both parties, nothing he said is wrong. So do you think it's important for men to be able to cook? 
Yeah, I wish I knew yeah, how to cook. I wish I did. I I think probably I be fat. Would you guys not date a woman if she don't know how to cook? Date? Especially because I can't do it, though. So I need somebody to actually do exactly what I hate to do. But what if you guys do, are soulmates? You guys are perfectly compatible. She better have enough money to have a, uh, a maid, I mean, a chef or Miss Doubtfire. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Doubtfire. Miss Doubtfire used to cook? I'm just saying. He, he, that's what I'm saying. He faked to act like they was, he was doing the cooking. Yeah. And they left it there. He had the plates all out. I don't know. I mean, my mother taught me how to cook, but not everybody's you, learning how to cook these days. So I don't really think that well, shit. That's a skill you need yeah, to do. That, that shouldn't. I don't, I don't think you should be able to guy who don't know how to change a tire. I don't think I don't, you should be able to guy who don't know how to, you know. I don't know how to change a tire. I know how to change, but it. it'll take a while. <laughs> but once you it'll get, it'll take with, me a while to change a tire. <laughs> no, it'll so oh, triple A. I got triple A. So what is it that you bring? <laughs> well, that's what what is saying. it that you bring that, that, if you can't change that, the that, tire? Well, that's his Miss Doubtfire. His triple A is Miss Doubtfire. You see what I'm saying? My wife can change the tire though. Yeah, but that's not an everyday task. By like, the way, you change your hey, tire. All those aside, though, by the way, that, this is a good point. <laughs> you can't men got to compliment each other, right? Well, I mean, yeah. the men and women got to compliment yes. each other. What you can't do, I can't. What can. I can't do, yes. she can do. With, but changing with the things a, she can do that, you know what I'm saying? Changing a tire is not an everyday task, though. Like, if cooking is a full-time job. But you want to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner? That's no, a full-time job. No, no, no. need to make sure they work at that time. They if, shut the whole shit down when right. the wipers ain't working. And we if, use them all the time. And if the tie is flat and we on the side of the road and ain't no AAA, whoever know how to do it, just got to do it. <sighs> how much assistant you doing, though, bro? Damn. I'm a, I, I hold the fucking lug jacks. What's that shit called? <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's that shit called? I hope she pissed off at you. This I ain't though. changed a tie in a long time. When the last time you changed a tie? I'm sure I went on the side of the road somebody helped somebody within the last couple of months, man, for Why? not knowing how to do it. What you mean? In this day and age? It's a lady. I'm not doing... I don't man, have a man. That's that. what I'm trying to tell you. If you're a man, you asked out, bro. Even a lady, that could be a trap. Mm. Nah, you see a lady on the side of the road changing her tire, depending on what time of night it is, you pull over and help <laughs> nah, and somebody jump okay. out that was, It was, it was hey. on the uh, side of the road. It was on the west side. I helped the lady out. I don't care. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm scared. I get it, but... You yeah. just never know nowadays. All I'm simply saying is what... They stay in the car, they see me. Sit your, get the next guy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what you can do, if you're... What you can do, if your mate can't, then you do it. What your mate can do that you can't, you do it. It's all about balance. balance. That's it. The only problem with that cam conversation, there was no balance. Everything was directed to one side. That's it. If you apply everything he said to both parties, that's exactly some keys to a healthy relationship. The cooking part, that's just, I don't know. I've never been in that situation. Mm. I just, I just, I've never been in a relationship. I've only been in one major relationship and my wife throws down. If you can't cook, you're in trouble with me. I need, and I need to eat. You know what I'm saying? I need to eat. I need you to feed me. I don't like being out. I can be single if I'm going to keep going out. That's all I was doing. Pizza and, and all Disgusting. that type of shit every day. And I used to call my mom. She's giving me recipes. Women they can cook. Who said that? He said I should just be single if you can't cook. Yes. <sighs> then why am I? Then whoa, whoa, whoa. What are we here for? No, that's tough, bro. Like, that's all. <laughs> you, you want more than a cook. You don't I understand. Want... I mean, everything comes when it's a package deal. Yeah. It's like, for what I'm going to do for this relationship, I'm going to do everything I can and make sure. So what I'm going to be paying for this relationship, I want all the perks. I want my boy wife to be able to cook and clean and do all the, and nurture the kids. And mine just got, I got less than one of those. Everybody else got the fucking moon well, roof. Well, what and, works and, for and, everybody else is what works for everybody Well, else. I need that too. So y'all get the the, the lacking. Yo, Alex, you get the one with no um, fucking a happy meal in it. You don't get the toy in a happy meal in it. You want a happy meal, you get the one with the, the toy in it. I thought we want somebody that cook. Why would you I want something. I want the whole package at the end of the day. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't want mine missing. Mine, the one that can't cook. Man, fuck that. Let your wife be the one who can't cook. Yeah. yeah. Well, my wife don't wash the kids. No, let your wife be the one who wash the kids. But what if she cookies? brings in, what if she brings in more money than you? I, what if she? We want a wife. We want now. We want our. It doesn't boy. mean that she's not a wife, though. She could be making mad bank, so she don't got time. To That's cook. respect, but sometimes that might be for somebody else. He might be don't he? He might only want to do a nine to five. He might only want to cap off at ninety thousand dollars. She might want to do five hundred. So the balance again is still got to be there. You know what I'm saying? I, I would be honest, man. He might want to cook. I don't know. I don't know too many women in my life who can't cook. Who can't cook? All my I'm talking that's about what I'm the, 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 the real, like real boss chicks, like and, and even the ratchet ones know how. That's to cook. what I'm saying. Maybe it's because I'm from the south. I don't know. I don't know too many women who don't know how to cook. That's why I'm like that's roll up. That's a foreign cook. concept. Like I'm listening. Yeah. I'm like I'm like who are the women that don't know how to cook? Nah, I know some women that don't know how to cook. They probably all in New York. 
No. They oh. can't drive either. She could drive. Yeah? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. You know how to cook, Taylor? She's a liar. Me and my friend, um, we do this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but you know more women that do know how to cook that don't know how to cook, though, right? Yeah, for sure. It's a thing. Me and my friend group, we try to, like, once a month talk about our highs and lows and things we're working on. But one of my friends pretty much said, like, her man wants her to cook. She's like, cooking is just not her thing. <laughs> How long have you been together? Uh, two years. Damn, she ain't learned no recipes? She didn't learn. Her, like, her favorite. That's what I'm saying. She didn't her favorite go-to. What's what? her go-to? Why am I thinking about that for myself? Taylor, I hear what you say. What did you say? Oh, Taylor said, well, I'm not thinking that for myself. I, I could, but I'm just saying, like, she she said the woman is complaining about it, though. Like the woman, I'm she, not never complaining about it. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, she I said the have. woman said she don't know how to cook. I don't. But she does That's everything just, else. Everything else is good. Is he she's happy? In, she's in school. She got a job. Like, she got two jobs, actually. But she don't cook. Boy, that might not that's be what you're looking for though. That's that's like having two great executives. You a great executive, you get this thing. The only thing I need is a is a uh, secretary. What if somebody come in and there's a great another great executive? That and what if she starts cooking stuck. and the food is bad because she just started cooking? Then what? Then you're the gonna be that counts. Her food. The thought that counts. I'm Go, happy you tried. Throw some salt and oregano on that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Put it to your mama. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Go to mommy or one of your aunties. I don't know. Let me ask you a question. If this guy you're dating, you don't know how to cook. Say, say you don't know how to cook, right? So you ain't cook for your man. So you're dating this dude. This guy starts eating at a woman's house. Like this woman or somebody he works with bringing him meals and he he, he ain't doing nothing else. It's nothing sexual. Ouch. They ain't flirting. Nothing. Ouch. All he's literally doing is eating. He's even telling you, like, yo, man, you should come over and eat such and such food. Her shit banging, yo. Fried she chicken. Wa- she want to cook for us, yada, 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 this and that. What do you do? You see how he mm. jumping around and talking about food? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? He's not like, doing yeah. nothing else. It's nothing sexual, nothing. He's just eating. That's fine. Oh, you ain't gonna I keep your man. Yeah, you, you ain't crazy. keep That's fine, yo, I guess. Uh, you, you know what they say? A way to a man's heart is what? Through the food. Through his stomach. Very familiar. So you do not do that. That's better. You, you might as well let her have sex with him. He could, yeah, he know jumped, why? He jumped out the no, 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 why? Because that's pleasing the man more. I'd rather you sit there and be like, wax, you hungry or you want my pussy? I'm like, feed me. I don't give a fuck about that pussy. I can jerk off. I can't feed myself. I don't know what he just said. <laughs> you no, understand what, what, you what, what I'm saying? That that makes makes sense. I say if a girl come to me and say that I'm a, I, you want this p- pussy or this food, I'm going to take the food because I can jerk off. I can please myself there. True. I can't please myself with uh, food. Because you can't cook. But why'd you I say you might as well fuck him? What do you mean? What? <laughs> you say that's how you started it off. I fuck you who? You might as well fuck her. You did say that. If you let them cook for them, then they might. you might as well just let him fuck her. That's what you said. Oh, oh, yeah. You, you might as well let the, uh, the girl fuck your man. Because the, the girl who, with the food is doing better than the um, pussy. He going <laughs> to enjoy the food more. Mm-mm. You don't think so? Eat the fried chicken. Don't eat a pussy. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, no, Charles, you understand what I'm saying? I'm saying he's going to enjoy the food more because it's pleasing him more than her pussy. So why would you let the man feed her, which is going to be more for him? Because it's not cheating. When you fuck, it's cheating. I'm trying to say it is cheating because she's getting pleased. Because he's huh? getting pleased with the food. Yes. I would, ra- I would rather my man go to another woman's house and eat food with her then fuck her? than go fuck her. Yeah, duh. What, no, what, she, what she's pleasing mean? him more with the food. <laughs> I, I stay, I stay really with like her food. because she fed me <laughs> before so I stay with her the pussy. But getting food is like a service. That's like, like you saying go you fuck a, your pastor, bro. No, no, no. That's not <laughs> true. Your pastor pleases you with sermons, fills you up with the spirit. But I want the food more. Than the I pastor? Think if somebody feed me, I'd probably be thinking about wanting to marry her. So don't let your fucking man get fed by another woman. No, see that's just I know that. I think you can eat a you can eat a woman's food and never be attracted to. The food ain't that good, then, bro. That's not true. Come on, stop. <laughs> what are you saying? That means you want to fuck is... every chef you ever been with. That's why they stay in the back. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah, that's what they don't. They stay in the back for a reason. What's the best meals you ever had? <laughs> You know, right, mamas and exactly. grandmas. Exactly. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> okay. auntie, what are you auntie talking about? Hard, you've been attracted you to hard. your mama and grandma and auntie. What are you talking about? I see what you're saying. This guy is, <laughs> this guy is crazy. I, thought, I, was, I was thinking about it. Like, I know why I'm chef stay in the back. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's the interesting thing. But if cook. I was a woman who couldn't cook and my man wanted me to cook or he was going to find somebody else, I would definitely learn how to cook. By the way, that's the biggest thing that got everybody mad at Cam. The cooking and the be quiet thing because those are stereotypical things that 
people say about women. Number one, that they should be in the kitchen. And number two, they talk too much. Yeah. Those are the two things that actually <laughs> triggered the fuck out of Yeah, I like people, being but, quiet but, but only the ones who talk too much. Uh, I don't talk too much. I say what needs to be said. But when? And how? Mm-hmm. What you always tell me, Nyla? What do you always say? Nyla tells me what my mama <laughs> been telling me my whole life. It's not oh. what you say, it's how you say it. That's what my wife says. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. That's what I've been working on. Yo, and I think I say things in a pretty good tone. Like, I mean, for, I don't, I don't think for, nobody complaining about you too much. And if I don't, then I'll circle back to make sure that we're on the same page. Mm. Like, yo, I said this. Do you You're understand why I said There's some this? Some girls who's not there is not reasonable. I don't think tone matters. Tone definitely matters. I'm going to tell you why. Your tone be all off all the time. <laughs> what do you mean? Your tone is always off. I, you be trying to like, you be trying to get messages to people <laughs> by cracking jokes and like coming at people's self-esteem. And that's not how people, I, what are you <laughs> it does not resonate Dagger. with people. People Who's don't like that. Who's self-esteem if I come at? <laughs> Should we go down the list? <laughs> <laughs> Throughout the years, you have, <laughs> you have are you traumatized ju- many people. Why are you people. talking about the past? I'm just, I'm why just are you saying, judging me based on my past? I'm just saying that No, you cracked said, on my pants last week. <laughs> yep. Well, <laughs> I don't know if you see. I don't know if you see yourself this week. <laughs> I don't know. You like you got a onesie on right now. <laughs> don't that shit look connected. Don't that shit look connected. Whatever. It do low key, but no, it's not yeah. what you say. It's how you say it. So the only reason I say I don't know if tone matters. I'm not, I, I take that back. Tone does matter, but I don't know if tone always matters because you can say something nice, but if it's not what that person wants to hear in that moment, yes. If it's if it's something that triggers them, regardless of how you say it, it's going to fuck with them. Yeah. Back to Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast. Gilly was having fun with Wiz Khalifa this week. He was just playing around. You know what I'm saying? And made a joke about Wiz doing his MMA in his underwear. I just thought it was funny. I laughed at it. Wiz didn't want to hear that shit. He didn't? You know what I'm saying? No. Wiz, fight. Wiz said he didn't want to be teased. That's what he said. But Wiz probably he hears on. bad shit about that all the time. See, I don't, not everybody is ready for it. That's but why crazy. you got them pants on if you don't want nobody talking about? He's fighting. It. It's MMA. Like that shit is so weird to me. That's what MMA fighters wear. They wear yeah. their drawers. No, their drawers. Izzy wears drawers. Izzy wears them same shit yep. with Khalifa wears when he's fighting. Yep. That's why I, I must never watch his MMA. Then. Clearly, you didn't. In wrestling, them niggas be in their drawers. They do wear that in wrestling. Wrestling, MMA. That's what they wear. So I don't. I even, don't got no problem with wearing that. I never even thought. Like we had. To, by the way, we had this discussion <laughs> in the I studio mean, I earlier. Thought, I'm not that I'm trying to get with Wiz or nothing, but I'm just. I never, I never thought it. about it. When I be looking at I Wiz videos, either. I be saying, yo, damn, Wiz in shape. I'm like, damn, Wiz will kick your fucking head off. That's what I be looking Especially at. Especially because he used to be so skinny. Now. It's like, wow, look, you got... Never once have I looked at me like, damn, Wiz in his drawers. Now, mind you, Gilly had a different observation, but either way, Gilly was being funny. It was a joke. It was clearly a joke. Yeah, but your jokes don't be like that funny. It be mean. <laughs> your jokes be mean. And I, and, According and, to Wiz Khalifa, and, Gilly was being mean. Okay. So it's all about how you take it. He, it's, okay. It doesn't matter what the tone is. don't matter how funny it is. If the person receiving it feels like you were being mean. But if you really care about somebody and you're really trying to teach them something or explain something to them, then you'll give it to them in a way where they can accept the message. I don't know. It all depends on if, if I'm the first or the third person that talks to them. If it went through other people, I'm going to be the bad guy. If I'm the first guy, I'm probably going to be a nice you know what I'm saying? But if we went to two, three but other I think people... It, I think it also depends on who the person is and, and who the people were speaking. How much love you speak. got from. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yes. So like, If I love you, I'm going to tell you the truth. All the way to and truth. And if you know that I love you, you should be able to receive what I say and know I'm not trying to be mean. You know that I'm not... I don't have any ill intentions. I'm just telling you the truth because I actually care about you and I feel like everybody else is lying. So yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, is what yeah, it is. I'm did. not trying to attack you. I, you know, I love you. You're great. But you talk like that with everybody. So it's kind of hard to like decipher what whether mean? it's hard to decipher whether. What's the last mean thing you saw me say to somebody? <laughs> tell me, I want to know. <laughs> well, tell you get Y'all, on the Taylor. You just talking about you just talking what? about French fries with Taylor. <laughs> just talking about French fries. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's an observation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. nigga, stop. All she said. Taylor <laughs> said no. Stop. This is what Taylor said. Stop. Taylor oh. said I want McDonald's. <laughs> You sure you wanted to do Taylor this? Taylor said, I <laughs> Are you for real right now? What? You literally, Alex, literally, this... this morning, what were you doing? Slamming the door or slamming the door open saying what? what? Repeat it. Exactly. Repeat what it. Repeat it, Charlamagne. I said, you're a bagel with extra cream cheese. Okay, ass. what else? Wow. 
Ooh. That's some funny what shit. Else? No, what else? <laughs> what else? Keep talking. I said Keep you, talking. I said you want to go to Iska Big Rooms over Max's Philly something that. I don't know. I was just fucking with her. It's a joke. Exactly. You always be fucking with me. But how do you know that doesn't hurt my feelings? No, okay. That doesn't hurt your feelings. Yeah. I just thought we walking in and she was like, I won't go to McDonald's. I said, you don't need no McDonald's. I said, the French fries is in your hair. <laughs> Curly fries. How was that? That's not, that's a joke. I'm playing. I'm clearly playing. Yeah, come on. Joke, I don't, joke, I don't man. really yeah. want to bring up real life examples because I just feel like the podcast is not the place for this. But I want you to know, you talk like this to everybody and if you're really trying to get a point across, I don't think you should use the same tone that you use when you're on your podcast, when you're on your TV show, when you're on your radio show where you are notoriously, notoriously known for getting people tight. For no reason. People no, be getting mad. No, People no, really be getting no. mad for you know no what reason is? Remember, sometimes. Remember yeah, when we was talking up. about the whole Ari Lennox thing and the, the guy from, the guy who did Mac that? G. Mac yes. G. asked the question. He asked the question in the wrong tone and with, like, with the wrong perspective. Well, he asked the wrong question. And, what do you say? But no, I feel like if I was to ask her something like that, it would it would be way less weird than him asking her something like that. Or maybe she because just because he's a man and he doesn't know her, and that's like girl talk. But it it's is. in her song, mm. so if it's in a song, it's fair but game. But that wasn't even in the song. That's right. That's what he fucked up. At. <laughs> no, he, he fucked up all at every step of the way. Listen, I'm with that. you. I wouldn't even have had that conversation. <laughs> I, I, I would have back in the day. But, but that's what I'm saying. Back in the day, tone. I would have had that conversation with her. Now, it's and like, you no. was and you was a fucking menace. That's Why what I'm saying. Are you bringing tone. stuff like this up at this I'm, point? I'm just because I'm saying tone is important. <laughs> that's it. I want, the story. Tone? I want you to. I want him to work on <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck this nigga tone. Who the fuck is he? Okay. The thing about tone is, it does. I really don't think it matters what your tone is if the person doesn't want to receive it. Yeah. I feel like I could receive it Stupid better. Stupid, pretty motherfucker. Too old. <laughs> No, I'll say like this. Hey, when I was younger, you right? You started with stupid, though. <laughs> I meant stupid, like, like, like stupid, stupid. Nah, stupid yeah, 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 yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. See, see what I'm saying? You know, like, it's like with parenting, like, right? Yeah, you, got, yeah. you, got a, you got two types of parents. One parent might come in and be like, hey, I need you to do this. Then the child doesn't listen. Then you got the parent that comes and lay the hammer and yes. is like, did I tell you? Da, 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 da. That didn't I tell you it works because yes. the tone is different. So that's why tone matters. My dog, you might say something sure. one time and it's not received. Nobody really took it seriously. And then when you get aggressive, then people take it seriously. Hey, what you saying? Sometimes adding a cuss word makes the tone change. And it mm -hmm. makes people take you a little more seriously. So Charlotte, when you're talking to people, maybe <sighs> you should switch up your tone a little bit. I am Rafiki from The Lion King. Oh, the, yo. And, and then another thing that's my last <laughs> thing going on you. It always sounds crazy until it happens. And you're like, shit. <laughs> I, that motherfucker was right. <laughs> and that's usually what happens. <laughs> that's usually what happens. This is not about like foresight and calling things. It's the truth. This, just, this is just about you actually genuinely trying to help people instead of just trying to um, get good content. Love. Yeah, or get tough, tough love. love. There's no content when nobody's around. When yeah. it's just us talking, I'm, ta I'm talking the same way I would talk, and yeah, I'm telling tough people love is, stuff. is actually needed. Because I know one time I told somebody there was a slut. And I shouldn't have said it like that, but Why I know. I but context. wait, wait, okay. They had, they had, <laughs> they, listen, they had, they had a little skirt, they had a little um, dress on that was showing their butt when they was walking. I'm like, Wax Newton. I, listen, and I knew. Wax Newton. No. <laughs> Wax Newton. Let's go, Wax Newton. No, and I, was, and I knew that it went to at least five, six other people because I got there late. So I'm like, I know you're not walking around here like this. You know what I'm saying? And I, I So you like, said she looked like a slut because she's wearing sluts. a dress. Yes, because it was showing your butt and I know that everybody else talking that right now, these days, right now, I got a phone call and telling me they got a daughter now. And the reason why um she's so happy because she tried to put that dress on two other times and cried and didn't put that dress back on. And she's so happy that I actually told her that everybody else. You traumatized her. You traumatized her so much that she can't even wear the dress. <laughs> but now she's telling me she she thank you. No, now, now she's telling me that she thank you because now she got a daughter. And her bet, her daughter better not be doing that. You know what I'm saying? She was like, I thank you so much because everybody else just let me walk around. That's what I'm saying. It was, if I first saw her and gone to the house, I'm like, come on, help me out. You know what I'm saying? You hurt my feelings. You, you, you look at that dress. But I know I went through so many other people. They must be like, hey, girl, you look good and all that type of shit. No, no, we need to stop well, that now. Going? That's why I slut shame wax every week. I, I feel like mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. attire is cool sometimes. Join your butt cheeks. Or it's, a mini skirt. It's cool sometimes. Well, I ain't going to do it every not, day. Now you're Uncle Wax. What if I'm going to Dyke? Now not, not, not your, your uncle is Uncle Wax. Like, what if or I'm going to the club? Your daddy is Uncle Wax? 
Your daddy wax, your uncle wax. You I don't think you talk about little shit. girls in short skirts and then say your uncle wax. This is my nieces or my daughter. This sounds wild. Like, <laughs> well, what if we're going uptown? Because these same girls, the girls on Instagram, that you like that be doing. That's that. not true. If you you like one, if you, I give you my phone right now. If you see one, I give you ten dollars for every one that you see. Why are your clothes like, so form fitting? Have you ever? I don't know how that? to dress. What if somebody call you a slut? <laughs> I have been called a slut by you most of the time. They, a tramp, everything. Does he not look like a slut? I mean, really. If you're not showing shape. You definitely yeah. are showing shape. And you always wearing sweatpants. <laughs> always trying to I show off. I don't wear sweatpants like that. <laughs> All the time. And we're black. You got the same uniform. I had to wear black ones or no cargoes. I can't just wear anything. Wax well, define a slut because a slut can't be defined just by an outfit. No, no, it, that's it, true. I mean, I don't, I don't want you to be like that because I know there's wolves out here, and if anything happened to you, I'm di- it directly going to affect me. That's why I'm. I get what say you're something. saying, but I'll, those conversations you know I'll always be like, we got it <coughs> more so than encourage women, more so than trying to encourage women on what not to wear. How about just encourage niggas just not to be fucking I, I, crazy? I wish, yeah. Listen, okay, a thousand percent, but we that, that's like. Wishing you playing spades and you getting all all the greatest cards, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's not like how life is. We let's, let's live like how it, how it is. But gotta it, be balanced. If you are gonna tell a woman that, then you gotta tell guys to, don't be creep. So listen, guess what? A, a thousand creep, percent. A creep gonna be a creep regardless. That's what I'm saying. They out there. So you want me to sit there and be around you all day and be a security guard because yeah, you got this dress I, on? I, it's gonna be a problem. But I feel like like if you guys hold other men accountable, it'll we start. Do. No, not really. I mean, I, I don't play that pervert shit. These clown ass do. niggas. I don't do that. I don't but I'm that. saying to everybody, it'll teach men self discipline. They sneaky, they do like, that. Like men type lack shit. discipline. So even if a man could be thinking about trying to holler, but it's like, ah, oh, nah, I'm not gonna do that. But damn, that's somebody do that's would... wax niece. I mean, shut the fuck up before wax beat the shit out of me. I'm cool with that. Yeah, that's that's but what I have to do. Be, dress. But I don't. <laughs> like, no, no. Why I gotta be a slut dress though? Well, she know what she's doing. They know what they doing out there. They know what they doing. That's what y'all that. feel when you throw shit like that on you. Like, oh, oh, oh what you well, did that mirror what for? I don't... Oh, Charlotte, what you did that mirror for? For them to turn around and see that thing back there. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, mean, I bet you they God, all do that. Oh, somebody lying. That's the only reason somebody got that ever fucking name. Somebody edited that just so wax it. Look at that shit. I turn around and see that thing back there. What the fuck was that? <laughs> For real, fuck the mirror. So why, y'all, why don't y'all use the mirror in the bathroom because it's up high? Y'all got to have that one on the floor. Every time I go to the girl house, if I see the fucking mirror... That's just Hannah, for good selfies. Taylor, when you put on short skirts and shit, you be thinking to yourself, like, like you want some, like, like, n- naughty shit? Do you turn around and get that mirror? Do you turn around and do that that mirror look? Oh, Taylor, you better not lie. Okay, yeah. that's okay. I'm trying to be <laughs> sure. Yo, listen. Yeah, you should, absolutely. You should have heard Taylor earlier. Sure. Taylor Let's was sure. fucking shaming the shit out of girls with no ass. <laughs> Taylor was like, oh, yes, she was. Oh, Taylor was like, I don't think with no Taylor ass. was like, I can't relate to these girls that want to go out there and get their bodies done because everything that I got, they want. Wow. Well, what was the, the statement yours. that you said? The floor you know, is yours. I ain't shaming. That's real. I said... <laughs> That I, like you just said, I can't relate necessarily because I have the assets that what women want. No offense. Yeah. But I'm just, it's isn't that women, isn't I'm that saying, women want or women are getting because that's what men want? Oh, well, whatever. <sighs> but like, how you saying it? Nah, so I'm nah, just saying. I, I think women get it for themselves because women, like, I hear a lot of women say, like, they like yeah. how it fits out their clothes. Yeah, their confidence. Like yeah, 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 yeah. But if they was getting they're a lot of attention, men. yeah, they're, they're <laughs> like, doing it for men. It's I not mean, like men don't do shit like that. I that's can't the wild say part. what they're doing it for, but. Men, that's why we get haircuts. Of course. That's why men get braces. That's why men work out. Yeah. If I could get a PPL, I would. What's that? Make his... I don't care about it. I know. Just... <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> what you mean? All these fucking symbols and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Acronyms. Yeah, I got time for all this shit. <laughs> all right, let's pay some bills, man. Uh, Blue Chew, this year it's time to get off the couch and get back into the bedroom. Blue Chew can help. Guys, we know that confidence can take you far in life. And when you feel confident, you're at your best, especially when it comes time to step up to the plate. That's where Blue Chew comes in. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead to be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved... You'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door. It's in a discreet 
package, okay? So if you can benefit from some extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code IDIOTS at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code slash IDIOTS to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Uh, and also salute the Molson Cause, man. Molson Cause, thank you for sponsoring the Brilliant Idiots. Do you ever feel like you're always on? Work, friends, family, a million pressing social issues and an expectation to be on 24-7. Sometimes you just need a moment to turn off and hit reset. That's when you reach for Cause Light. It's made to chill. Okay, there's only one beer out there that's literally made to chill, and that's Cause Light. The mountains on the bottles and cans even turn blue when your beer is cold. That way you always know when it's time to chill. Coors Light is cold lagered, cold filtered, and cold packaged. It's literally made to chill. I've seen people sitting under a tree in Monk's Corner, South Carolina. You see people, when they, when they pop that cause and they take that sip of cause, you think they just had a glass of ice cold water uh-huh. on a hot summer day. I'm talking about, it. you think... <sighs> Yeah. Every single time. And it's her talking okay? shit. Cause I don't know if y'all know or not. I don't know if I really don't know. I'd be really wondering if these people know where like their biggest demographics are. I take you to Monk's Corner, South Carolina right now in those rural areas. Mm-hmm. You will see cause cans everywhere. Yes, All right? Sure. So when you need to take a second for yourself, reach for the beer that's made to chill. Get Cause Light delivered straight to your door with Drizzly or Instacart by going to causelight.com slash idiots, okay? And make sure you celebrate responsibly no matter where you're celebrating, whether it's under a tree in Monk's Corner, South Carolina, or, you know, in New York City somewhere, sitting on a corner, you know, in a, on, a, on, a, on a stoop. I don't know what the fuck y'all sit on in New York. Crates, okay? Uh-huh. Whatever. All right, salute the chorus. Now let's get back to the show. Uh, church announcements. Wax, what you got? Uh, go to your nearest dispensary in L.A., man. Whose wax is in there, man? I got two new, two bags this time. Um, go to www.whosewax.com, order your gummies. Um, you know, Bully and the Beast, go, we go to every Wednesday. Um, go listen to us there. Podcast Wars, man. Um, Airsoft Wars, you got to go out there to South Carolina. Go sign up, www.whosewaxairsoft.com and get your teams together. So get that cross promo. And I, I know I got an NFT too, man. Who's Wax NFT? Holla at me. That's it? You I don't me. know. I don't really know too much about it. I know you go to Who's Wax. I mean, I'm sure if they got an NFT, they know they got to go to the metal world and go all that type of stuff. I ain't too versed into it, but you know what I'm saying? Just go to, if y'all got that, that app, go to Who's Wax. NFTs are interesting and once again, I saw what happened with Jack Dorsey on Twitter this week. Somebody bought his first tweet for like $2.8 million, and he's trying to resell it now, and the highest bid he got is 6800 So the thing to remember about NFTs is NFTs are the value that you put on something. Yes. This shirt right here, even though mm-hmm. I ironed it this morning and it fucked up the goddamn picture, this boondock shirt, mm-hmm. this shit means a lot to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how much somebody would... Buy, buy, buy it for, but I know. But if you put five hundred on it and somebody bought it because you bought it on this day at the Brilliant Idiots, are they buy because they like Huey and Riley? No, they, they like probably... the Boondocks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This ain't a work of art. But it's a work of art to me. Yeah. I mean, what, what about what about what about all those NBA games? You know what I'm saying? Them them jerseys yeah, never really see that day again. Bottom. You supposed to iron it inside out. I did. Then I turned it around and did it over again. Good job. And you see. <laughs> You see why women are so important? <laughs> Very important. Oh, because we can iron clothes. No, no you can tell us how to do. Four eyes. Like, huh? I can never tell him that. I've never, never had a boy him. tell me anything about ironing. Never in my life. I never oh, even ironed before. Your dad before. never showed you how to iron? That nigga wore linen. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you talking about. You gotta iron that. That nigga wears linen everywhere. That shit, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 what are you talking about? Uh, yeah, I never ironed before in my life. I, I, I see what happens when I iron this morning. Maybe you guys should get um, the steamers. A wife. Steamers might be easier wife. for you. Steamers are dope. No, you shouldn't rely on somebody else to take care of yourself. Somebody you should be able want, to take you know care of yourself as an individual. What, what and then the when you get a partner, a you guys compromise on who does what. But what about the woman who said, I want a husband? 
Huh? What about the one who said, I want a husband and a man? Actually she shouldn't rely on a man to fulfill herself. She should be a complete individual, be able to take care of herself, iron her but own clothes. But my God, make the other one food. then. And then Compliment. when you get to... Go ahead. Yeah, no, God, tap in, Taylor. God made the other I ones for helpmates. So you see how we're arguing with, like, gender roles, right? I ain't you might no have to take this out, but do you think um, the LGBTQ community, like, do you think two gay guys are saying the same thing that we are? I think this roles is a role. Like, do you think that like, guys are, <laughs> no, do you think like, guys like, I want a man that could, like, Yes. The whole thing, iron, all that stuff. Because well, some guys, I'm sure there's guys out here who just want to do the woman role, and some guys who I think. Can you imagine do the man two waxes together? I'm... <laughs> <laughs> imagine, two, <laughs> imagine two waxes together. Not gonna lie. Can you imagine? Nope. I have a. I have... Somebody got to play a role. Somebody got to know something. I guess that's the moral to the story. Yes. Somebody got to know something. <laughs> Not and, me. And wax, two waxes together don't know nothing. So they. Yeah, wouldn't... but think about it. If both people are fully evolved individuals, yes. then you're fully complimenting each other. I like, agree. yo, today I can't cook. Can you cook something so when I come cook. home, I can do something? You can cook. You just have to I want go, to. I go. I order You gotta some food. want to try. I'm never doing. You that. just told the woman if the woman can't cook, at least try. That's effort. I can no, appreciate. No, 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 you literally her. just said that about the woman. Why I you know, can't try? I don't want to. I don't want to sit there and make her not want to be with me no more. No, if she you takes just, that food. You know what? And it's so I just woman, said the if same thing about the girl. I just said if she tried to cook for you and the food wasn't good, you said your you response said would be, "Oh, so if the food wasn't good, she's a duck." No, if you maybe food, but if you cook bad breakfast, I'm probably gonna get turned off. I do know some things women do that men just can't do. Nurture kids. Nurture babies. Especially you can't babies. can't do it. I don't care who you are. Babies? Baby babies. Babies ain't fucking with that. Nah. Okay, there's nothing <laughs> I can do. One, two I years new, old. I got a seven month old. Yes, one, two years old, we in. We I'm watch I'm there with you in Kanto. We singing a cool yeah, 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 We we cool. don't know <laughs> shit about Bruno, whatever the fuck. Yeah. We don't talk about Bruno. I'm all in with you when you my three year old, my six year old, the newborn, 30 seconds at the most. Yeah. I make her laugh. Now, hey, no, daddy, I'm where the food at? You ain't got nothing to offer me. What's up? <laughs> I'm telling you. I, I, I agree with yeah, that, but that's nah, because right. we are genetically different. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Just because we're genetically Did different. Did you say that in 2022? Is that politically correct no, to we say? Are, no, can we say you that? Are definitely you definitely about to get canceled can we say for that shit, right? We different? are genetically I different. I can't believe you just said that. Are we allowed like, to say that? No, because you can look at male dogs and female dogs. Their behavior is you different. You gotta explain to me. I'm with you. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> <But, laughs> uh, women and men do the exact same thing dogs do. I know, but it doesn't mean that what? as a grown... <laughs> no, he's saying like, he's saying like, uh, just how I'm saying female Nurturing. and male dogs yes. are different. It's the same as humans. And you know who and the kid, you know who the, the kids, the puppies want to be around the most? Mom. Mommy. That's right. Yeah. But yes, I'm saying, I'm saying <laughs> gen what? I genetic, genetically we got differences. Right but as a grown <laughs> ass individual, you should be responsible for taking care of yourself. I agree. It's not a dependency of yourself? thing. yourself? Then yes. why God made the other one? I'm dependent on my wife, though. Even though if Me I had... If I had if but I had, you guys have been together for a very long time. I don't care. You know I've been mean? with you for like, two weeks. I'm depending on you to God know me. what I need. No, hell no. Two weeks, my nigga. If, if I met you and you already asked me for this, that, and the third, and I've Food? only been with you for two weeks, no. That's real. I'm not cooking for you. That's real, too, that, now. That's an intimate... That is an no, intimate real. thing. So that's real, wife. So if I, what if I did nothing? If I did nothing for you, don't feed me. But if I did everything I was supposed to do to get that meal... In two weeks? What's everything what you everything supposed to do? Weeks, two days, I want a meal. I'm going to do everything I need to do in two days. What's everything you need to do? Nigga, you hungry. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <that's laughs> Don't fuck Yo, with the food. Listen, <laughs> you can do anything you want. You can, like, you can hold the pussy. Hold yeah. the pussy. As long as you feeding me, I'm okay. Because I cannot do that. I can find pussy we somewhere. Get, I can find we need to get wax shit. cooking lessons ASAP. Never doing it. No, seriously. I just Why are you never doing it? Certain things I just learn. don't do. No, you, you know you're, you're refusing I'm gonna get you to, to grow. Doing, I'm going to start getting you to start going. You want to go to the truck yard? And I want you to be a mechanic for the truck yard. That's how that's how I feel about I used one to in the kitchen. I used to take um, carpentry classes. There's I know how to build things. I'm talking about the yeah, big. Like, car, I'm talking about the big eighteen wheel tires. I can build furniture. I'm I'm just saying, like you're I know trying to you're trying to well, well, this, you're trying Jordan, to put a Jordan task well, on me that may, I can't maybe, do. Maybe, but that's what I'm saying. I can't do that. That's how I feel for me. But I'm saying I I can't do it. Is what I'm getting at. I can't. So do it either. doesn't matter. So and you want to know how I can do it because I tried to do it and I'm like, oh shit, I get it now. It's something in my arsenal. I almost do what. I took carpentry. Oh, almost. I made I tables. I made toolboxes. Like I enjoyed remember, the remember class. Remember how she got slammed in? 
Man, shut up. <laughs> yeah. And guess what? Guess who slammed me? <laughs> guess who slammed me? A woman. A woman? Yeah. Okay. Slam the shit out of her. So I don't give the fuck all this role shit. <laughs> people, can, people can do whatever they put their mind to. Oh, when, she Wax mind taught her, to when Wax taught her how to do it, she did it. Okay? I'm talking about p- precise. Who's the big bunny? I'm just saying. <laughs> not big bunny. Big bunny. I think but it's I important to, to be a 100% individual and then get with somebody and compromise. Respect. That's it. But I know I can't do that. So I need to find somebody who can do it. Do what? But you cool. being dependent is going to put you in predicaments that you don't need to be in. Praise the Lord. Dealing with people my life. and possibly using people because you lack in you certain for areas. You That's me, not I'm good. Use That's you for not cooking. good. You need to work on that. That's why you should just learn how to cook. Be self-sufficient so you don't got to rely on people Nala, who you're, you're not compatible right. with. You're right. So then learn how to cook. Nope. I need that. I need that. <laughs> I don't get it. Why not just learn? God, why got, got all these women? Ooh. That happened on Love and Basketball? Yeah, if you say can't, you ain't a man. I don't like that. You don't do that. I don't like that. I like that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I can't have babies. I can't have babies. That's right. Damn right you can't. Huh? Th- then I'm not a man? You're two different things, right? That goes back Hold to on, the dogs. That, no, that, that fucks me up. <laughs> 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 that for a you said, if you can't, you're not a man. And he said, I can't have babies. <laughs> so that don't make me a man, but men can't have babies. But te- I mean, you can't physically push the baby out. You got your church announcements, Nyla? Sure. Church announcements. Uh, I'm building my YouTube right now, so you guys haven't already. Follow me on YouTube, Nyla Simone. Yo. Um, Lots of great interviews on there. I just did Enchanting from the new 1017, Gucci Mane's new artist. She's super fly. You might know her from rapping, but she actually sings really well. And, um, yeah, that's all I got. I want to salute... Uh, I want to salute... You know, we announced this week that um, me and my man Kevin Grivu. Uh, are putting out a graphic novel through Black Privilege, Simon & Schuster Publishing. Um, And the graphic novel is based off... uh, Basically, we're creating our own superhero universe, our own superhero world, you know? And and, and Dog Storm is a character who's like a reluctant superhero who struggles with PTSD because he was a military veteran. That's actually how he got all his powers. I don't want to... Tell, tell y'all the whole thing because I want y'all to cop the graphic novel when it comes out. But he's he's seen as a anti-hero at best, okay, by by most of the public. And um, we have a comic book series coming out through AWA, salute to AWA, AWA Studios, uh, <clears throat> based off a superhero group called The Vindicators. Okay, so, um, yeah, look for that. You know, y'all know I love comic books, man. And, you know, I feel like it's, it's room out here for more than one comic book universe. I like that. That's cool. I love I love comics. Like it's my my inner child is very very happy and Kevin is so dope, man. Kevin is somebody who, you know, he's a he's a creator of the franchise Underworld and he created one of the most slept on Marvel characters ever, Blue Marvel. You know, um so salute to Kevin, man. We got a lot of things a lot of things cooking. Are they going to be um, like magazine collectibles? Yeah. Wow. The book The book is a graphic novel. Dark Storm is going to actually be a graphic novel, and Vindicators is going to be a comic book series. That's really cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. So all of that will be coming quite shortly. All right, what else we got, Taylor Gang? Schultz at Radio City, Charlemagne interview with Pusha T. Oh, salute my guy, Pusha T, man. Uh, make sure y'all go check that out uh, on wow, YouTube, man. on my YouTube page, See the God, C-T-H-A-G-O-D. I'm going to try to post more content on my YouTube page. Um, I wish I cared like everybody else does. But Pusha, man, I keep telling y'all, his album, it's almost dry. It's his best body of work. You know, if you saw... That conversation I had with Pusha T, that wasn't really a conversation with Pusha T. That was a conversation with Terrence, the man. And yeah. I, I, I fully believe Pusha T is going to be one of those artists, especially in hip hop, that evolves and makes that, that like, hip hop thriller album. And the reason I say hip hop thriller is because Quincy Jones made Thriller at fifty. So we're watching people push the boundaries of hip hop age-wise in ways we've never seen. Now, some people can say Hove kind of already did that with 444. I think 444 is a classic body of work, uh, probably because when that album dropped and and t- till now, 
the place he is at in his life, that album reflected, that album was the soundtrack for me in, in so many ways, you know, um, from, from just him being a father and a husband and, you know, going to therapy and, you know, trying to be a better man because of infidelity, Relatable. all that type of stuff, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, you just, you just saw Sean Carter in that album, and I think at the time when he dropped that album, he might have been like, ugh, 47? 48, maybe? Because mm -hmm. he's like, what, 52 now? So, I mean, a lot of people could say that could be the closest. That might be hip-hop thriller. I don't know. I'm just saying the fact that seeing an artist be that old and still create those classic bodies of work because people talk about hip-hop being such a young person sport, I think Pusha is absolutely going to be one of those people who yeah. continue to push that forward and continue to shatter I don't think that that's hip-hop thriller, though. 444? Mm-mm. Only because th there's no record as big as thriller. See, 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 that's y'all that's kid's problem. I mean, it's <laughs> not. See, see, that's like, why and, TK and there's said, also, there's also no, quiet. like, iconic, like, you know, when you think of Thriller, I'm thinking, why only the niggas is in here laughing? Taylor didn't think that shit was funny because it's out. fucking not. That has nothing to do about gender. <laughs> no, because yeah, like, that's why TK said y'all need to learn when to be quiet. Like, no. And only the men laugh, but that shit is not funny. I did laugh because I But before I, I said kids, Whatever. I'm talking about youth. Okay, I just want to get my point across without y'all yes, laughing at me. So my point is, um, not that the album's not great and classic. I think it is. I just Fire. didn't compare it to Thriller because with Thriller, it was the moment. It's the fucking red jacket. It's the dance. dance moves. It's everything. I, 4, Same 4, thing 4. with Jack. Oh, now, what, What's the iconic style that came from 444? Let's talk about it. Yeah, let's talk. Not iconic style. Let's talk about the moment. Three. The moment was, I'll give it the moment. Three classic albums came out of that elevator. Uh -huh. Okay? Wow. Out of that elevator. Three classic albums came out of that elevator. Oh, God, no. on the Three <laughs> classic <laughs> albums <laughs> came all, out of that elevator. I'm not talking about That's the other albums. I'm but talking no, about 444 four, four, because you said 444 four, four is a thriller album of hip-hop. 444, four, four. people not even paying attention. There was a trilogy, right? I know. I'm not even talking, talking about, about Solange, Seat at the you're Table. No, you're talking about Lemonade came from it and Boom. you're talking about the Carters. The, and 444. Four, four, four. four, four, I get four, it. Four. That was a trilogy. Beyonce put it on the table with Lemonade, right? Uh -huh. She let us know what was going on. We watching the movie like, Wait a minute. I know this nigga didn't cheat. What? This nigga cheated on me. I, like, be, like he, she put it out there, right? So, boom, you get Lemonade. Then you get 444, four, four, which is about. the compliment. Exactly. I don't watch this. No, exactly. Since we're talking about compliments, 444 four, four was the compliment to Lemonade. Uh -huh. And Jay was, yo, I fucked up. I apologize. Yeah. I'm going to grow. I'm going to evolve. I'm going to be a better man, blah, blah, blah. Then you get the everything is love. Which was the letting nip everybody know you got lemonade, you got the four four four. Now, good. now you get the together. And, 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 and I no, like it. It, I respect it was it. September fourth. It's and not it was the thriller. On the floor. That's it. That's good. That's great. I why love everything. It, why can't it be but thriller? It's not the thriller. Yeah. You're thinking about sales. I'm thinking about sales. I'm thinking about the style. Impact. I'm thinking about everything around it. But Nala, you understand? Four 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 had that kind of impact. It, it was her birthday. I right? don't think so. Nala, it was Beyonce's birthday. It was the fourth day, and it was on the four, 44th floor. I don't know what you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it was. I don't know. It was. No four four four. I thought that's like their wedding or something. No, it was on the 44th floor when she did that. That was the time of the elevator. Incident. I don't know. I don't listen, know. Listen, no, I really don't know. That was mm. so, listen. This, that was some people's. For me, that was a crown jewel in the soundtracks of my life. At, at I was thirty nine when that album dropped because I turned forty. It came. It actually came out June thirtieth, the day because we was leaving. I was having a birthday thing on the roof. You don't remember that about four years ago. Four or five four years, years ago? You don't remember. <laughs> four, four years, years. Yeah, four years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I remember <laughs> it vividly. We was on the roof. I can remember if Jesus was there. I think Meryl might have been. I know Jesus was definitely there. Who else was there? That was four years ago? You was there? Yeah. Yeah, I had the pool. We was on the roof. It was, I had like a little birthday shindig. Because my birthday was June 29th. The album dropped June 30th. And we went to Anguilla the very next day. Okay. And, um... I remember. I the just birthday remember. I remember. You know the birthday I remember. We was on the side of the highway in L.A. Damn, what'd y'all do? Got kicked out of the gun. That was 12 years ago. Four <laughs> stories. That's the one I remember. That was, that's Lori about to beat his ass. It's your man's birthday. Damn, I didn't know that was your birthday. That's that. By the way, yeah, stop. It's by the way, birthday. that's when we were assholes. That's when, that's when, that's when what Nile is saying is very true. That's when we were very <laughs> reckless you, with you our words. You have little glimpses. No, that, no, Nyla, that was bad. That <laughs> night went from... <laughs> 
me fucking with Chris Bosh's manager, but she she asked me a question and I gave her an answer, right? <laughs> that went from me and then then wax fucking with L'Oreal, telling L'Oreal the girl said something that she didn't say. No, no, she really said it. She did not say that, Wax. I was standing there, me L'Oreal too. coming over there. I'm like, oh lord, what the so fuck? You is got going a line of women then to get and, women to fight. No. Then me and Buster got into it. Stupid shit. It's all, all the same, the same night. night. Matter of moments. Like, bang bang. Like just like that's this. why I don't fuck with alcohol and Paul. That shit was stupid. We was stupid. <laughs> it, it was, was like dumb. This. And it, the next moment was just. Oh, it was like it was like. Do we want to fight tonight? It's like it's like everybody wants to fight. It was a grab ass party. Everybody's grabbing. I'm like, the fuck is going Wait, on? What? I see a lot of people grabbing asses. I don't know. I don't remember that. You know, you know how people like touchies or or, or uh, grabbies or some shit like that. They're mm-hmm. grabbing asses and running. I'm like, yo, bro, <laughs> what? And then I grab it's my the ass. First time man. I'm hearing this. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard this story. I've heard this story a million times. I've never heard. Don't this remember part. the grab ass party? I said, yo, this is a fucking grab ass party. I see people grab each other ass and running. I'm like, yo, bro. That's a thing. <laughs> yeah. You know, like in, in the hood, they like snatchies. They grab your food. I thought it was snatchies. Melanie Fiona's birthday party. That's what I thought. Oh, that's what it was. Yes. Oh my. I don't know where I'll be going. All oh I know is we got in that car, and <laughs> whatever energy was in that party, Wax and L'Oreal started to exchange that energy with each other, and we ended up on the side of the road because I was like, <laughs> L'Oreal, let us out, because <laughs> I don't know where the fuck this is going. Because you crazy and this motherfucker crazy <laughs> and everybody drunk, let us out, please. And that was before Uber, boy. Uber so, and cell phones. So we trying to hail a goddamn cab in LA. <laughs> so how'd y'all get home? We got a cab, uh, yeah, and then we went to my man Cron Dance. We went to yeah, Cron Dance. We went to Cron Dance Studios. Strong on Steady Gang. Boy, those were some wild times. Yeah, All right, but man. back to the story. Is know that. Yeah. Four, 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 you know why? Drop. You know why it's good to go back to that story? Because because four four four. And the man oh, that Jay Z is and expressed on that <laughs> album, I am so happy to be. Cause I don't want to go back to that no, shit we was doing twelve man, years ago. No way, that shit was stupid. Okay, my fucking life was that, so oh dumb. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it, really was. it was dumb. It's like, why did we used to live like that for no, no fucking reason? Bro. I like being married. I like being washed. I like being uh, at home with the kids. You said better. washed. You don't got to be washed because you're you married. You're right. No, believe me, you're right. We, we was too fucking too loose. dry. Loose. loose. We washed now. Loose. We dry. Loose. Loose, yeah. too loose, loose. Oh my God! Nonetheless, though, this was a great story. But four 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 is not the thriller of hip hop albums, but it is September a classic 4. rap no, album. No, 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 no. It's a classic me, rap album. Let me be clear with that, because people will take the headline and put it in. Like Charlamagne says four 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 was thriller, and everybody will be like, "What the fuck are you talking?" No, let me explain what I mean by that. Simple and plain. What I mean by that, simple and plain, was that's the album that an older artist made, where they would say. He was way past his prime. Yeah. You're not still supposed Time to be making music. classic music yes. at that age. Quincy Jones was 50 years old when he produced Thriller. Oh, I see what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. Quincy think- Jones was 50 years old when he produced Thriller. I think Hove, I, I don't know how, Hove might have been like 46, 47 when he made that 444 album. But people would say that hip hop is a young man's sport. 444 was a classic body of work from a hip hop artist when people think that hip-hop artists are past their prime. So do you think that that statement still holds true, that hip-hop is a young man's sport? No. 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 We, 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 we've been past that for, like, a decade now. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah definitely. We've been, we, we, but, but see, what I think people don't realize is over the past decade, we've seen <gasps> OG artists reinvent themselves in real ways, and we've seen OG artists talk about real OG shit. Like, Nas is talking about brunch on Sundays. That's what the fuck I can relate to at 40 plus years old. Th- then Drake just now saying his song, like, you can't relate to something he's doing. He's getting too rich to. I mean, Drake's still a young man to me. You know what I mean? I'm talking about the 40, 50 year old. You know what I'm saying? Like, and there, it's still gold. I didn't right? know Pusha was that old. Like 44. And Pusha about to put out a body of work that is going to make people be like, damn, well, when are you supposed to stop rapping? Never, motherfucker, if you dope. Yeah. If you the dope and you're talking still about... Got it. Come on, man. Still got look what the, it. Look what we saw Dipset them do last year at the oh, Versus. Man. Like, that shit still matters. Like, our music still matters. Our people still matter. I think the only thing that holds artists back is not wanting to age. Now that you have a generation of artists that aren't afraid of their age, yeah. and they're talking about OG shit, yeah. And they not still talking about shit they did when they was kids or still trying to be out here chasing women and this and that. When they're actually talking about their marriages and going to therapy and brunch on Sundays, yeah. that shit is relatable. And Ben Gay yeah. is, you know what I'm saying, still out here. So, yeah. I, Who? Ben Gay. Okay. 
I don't know who Ben is and why he's gay, but no, the stuff for the, the oh the cream. The, yeah. Oh, I, I, I thought he was a rapper all. that you was listening to. I don't know, bro. Wait, what is Ben Gay for? It's for the, uh, you don't know what Ben Gay is. Ben Gay is make your, your beard God be like dark. Damn, we old as shit. Wait, mm-hmm. what? You put it on your beard? What's, what's the black stuff? You mean hair dye? What's the black stuff called? Not called Ben Gay. You really don't know what Ben Gay is, yo. No, no, no. He's talking about Beijing. Oh, Beijing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's I'm, what, I'm like, why you putting Ben Gay in your beard, bro? I'm over here saying that he fucking with Nala because Nala don't know what Ben Gay is. <laughs> Beijing, man. Beijing, then. Yes. I asked you what it is. It's stuff to dye the people here. That's why they got confidence to come out now because they didn't want to show the gray. Yeah. Now they get to compete with the young boys. Yeah, salute, salute to all the 40 and up rappers, man. The salt and pepper look is cool, though. You don't got to dye it. That's ben right. Gay. What? <laughs> ben Gay. <laughs> 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 Who Beijing. named that shit that, man? <laughs> ben Gay? What the fuck? Who, who did that shit, yo? Somebody <laughs> who clearly was Ben Gay. What are you talking about? A Ben Gay. <laughs> I've been gay so long, everything's hurting. At least you did it. A Ben Gay. Everything hurt. My back. My knees. <laughs> it makes sense. It makes all. Put big gay in these. <laughs> 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 hey, oh, it's just, man, that shit is like that. I'm telling you, that shit is. I saw somebody put on Twitter. Somebody <laughs> said, "Man, whoever made deodorant was fed the fuck up." That's exactly what it is. All of these things that remedy us. Somebody was hurt, yo. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> somebody somebody, there, somebody created toothpaste because they were tired of smelling somebody's <laughs> breath. Up. They created mouthwash because they were tired of making smelling somebody's breath. They created Lemosol and and Summer's Eve because they were tired of smelling poo poo. Yeah, 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 you know man. what I mean? They created soap because they were tired of smelling somebody's That's really bad for your vagina. Don't use it. What, what? Uh Summer's Eve? I'm not supposed to use that. I don't know nothing about vagina. Vagina has its own system. You don't need none of that. Don't, right. don't, don't, don't disrespect people. <laughs> Don't disrespect me. So, so if I see that you in the cabinet, how? So if somebody out there that's the vibes off that, you Summer's Eve shaming for no reason. That's very problematic. Man. Well, no, what's problematic is using Summer's Eve because eventually it can cause Whoa. problems in your vagina because Whoa. you're not using your natural body cleaning system. That's wild. Wow. With your, with your you cleaning system dirty. <laughs> If you guys say if I do <laughs> I'm like you know, By the way, if you're using that shit, something wrong. Something ain't right. pH balance is way to fuck off. Yes. You ain't supposed to just be using that shit. Soap and water should work. Yo, listen. They got tampons with Vagisil in it now. So now you just put the pad on and it got the Vagisil in it. You, that's How do you for know people that? who have yeast infections or something. That's I don't not, talk, why like, are we talking about this? Like, I don't know. Y'all the one who started asking stupid questions. I thought we were supposed to be talking about Trick Daddy. What happened with Trick Daddy? <laughs> what Trick Daddy? Trick Daddy was living like how y'all niggas be living <laughs> in no, Clark, sure. gonorrhea. That nigga had motherfucking Miami. I've never been burnt in my life. I don't believe that. I've never had an STD in my life. I did. I can believe that. What do you mean? I mean, I guess. I, I mean, I had a yeast infection, so. You had a, men can get yeast infection? Right, that's what I had. That's what the doctor told me. I had bacteria on my, um, my re- So you was giving other women yeast infection? No, no, no. After we do it, the next morning I couldn't, but the pee was like, peed all over the place. And then it was like, I had a mask, the lady said. From so, a yeast infection? Because it, when you, whenever you got a man, I no, whenever a man infection. got a problem, it's pus. Yeah, so good old chlamydia up, like everybody else. Uh, <laughs> I had what? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? 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 Can a man get yeast infection? Though? I got a yeast infection. The girl. You can. Yeah, the okay. girl. How the, do you know? The girl. I had one. I don't think you had yeast. You had chlamydia. Hey, I don't think it's supposed to make pee go in different no, directions. No, because I had a mask. Whenever you do a man, it pus and it dries up. And so when you go pee, when you say it mask, was, you mean sh- condom? Sh- no, no, no. A mask is the like a uh, pre cum that come out and oh. then it dry up on your meat and in the, in the head. Uh, so when you pee, it's like it's the hole is clogged. So it's just like when it finally come out, it's peed all over the place. I'm like, what the fuck going on? <laughs> and I went to the hospital and they told me that I had a yeast infection. The girl I was dealing with had bacteria in her, in her uh, urethra. Yeah. And then I was able to... It's always, always the girl fault, ain't it? <laughs> you always blaming the girl. She, they, they didn't want to carry it. Well, The girl also, is the bucket. But also you could give a girl yeast <laughs> infection if you're not clean. That's right. <laughs> How you meet the dirty? You can see. Like if you work out and then go fuck her, you can give her a yeast infection. Guess what? But 
Or if you have sex with multiple women or in nasty. a day, nasty. Yeah, you could give her a use of it. Yeah, this put, You remember that mirror you was talking about? Look in that motherfucker and turn around and see if you can see your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the fuck you said earlier, call somebody nasty. I know you. <laughs> this guy is crazy. I know girls do that shit all the fucking this time. This guy is crazy. Uh, Meek Mill. Meek Mill took to Twitter to express both his confusion and frustration with the record company model for new releases. His issue is the focus on numbers and ask, what does it all really mean? In one tweet, Meek wrote, we don't go off first week numbers. Labels run that and most of the numbers be fake. Focus on your brand and impact. In a follow-up tweet, he added, they crashing the rap game out that everybody drop on Friday BS. What the fuck is that? Why would you want to sell your product on the same day as the competition for a billboard look? What does that do for an artist? I would like for me to expound on that because I don't understand that in any way, shape, or form because I grew up in an era right? where music used to come out on Tuesdays. Now it comes out on Fridays, but it's not just rap. It's every genre of music, new albums come out on the same day. And it's like if I walk into a store and I see, you know, five different... If I walk into a liquor store, it's a lot of different liquors there. Yes. It's a lot of variety. I'm going to mm-hmm. go get what I want. What you want, period. So it doesn't matter how many albums drop on a Friday. If people want more than one of those albums, they'll get it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like when Jay-Z and Fab dropped back in the day on 9-11, I caught both of them. You know? There's With been 50 pl- and, Con- and Kanye. 50 and Kanye dropped. I caught both of them. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't matter. Like I don't understand why he looks at that it's competition. Also, I feel like Big Mill is tapped in enough where he can ask these questions to people who can really give him the answer. I feel like a lot of stuff that he tweet, I just be like, why are you doing this? I mean, maybe he's trying to get the people to, yeah. to think Have the conversation. It. Yeah, yeah. have the conversation. You know what I mean? Like, like, I just, like I just, it's happening now. Yeah, I just, everybody everybody drops on Friday. Like, and, it's, and before that, everybody used to drop on Tuesday. It's been like that since the beginning of time. And guess what? The shit people want, people will go by. I don't, so think, no, I don't do think anybody's canceling anybody out is what I'm do saying. Do you agree with him on saying that the labels run the numbers first week? The problem I have with statements like that is when Meek drops and comes out with a number one in sales records, (laughs) people are going to say the label did that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, buddy. So is he right? Yes. These labels will motherfucking manipulate shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Really? Yeah. Numbers is easy to manipulate. Well, if that's the case, why they not doing it for everybody? Man, you know how people out here got um, fake um, Instagram followers? They've been doing it. Fake for... Instagram followers? Shit ain't all and real. And fake Instagram checks? They've been doing this for a long Verifications time. Verifications be fake. Labeled, labeled buying albums. I'm going to show you a video. Now they fake <laughs> training. I know. Someone just showed me how to see who got fake blue checks. I don't believe that. Though. Nyla wild. showed me that, too. I don't know if that's Yeah. Cool. Good. That shit. So why? So what's the difference? I real. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know why. Where would you even buy a fake check from, and why would you want that? <laughs> where would you? What you mean? Why they would want that? You know why people I, would want that? I don't, I don't get it, man. I really don't. This, you get more girls. People that use that check? as a source of validation. I literally just had this conversation with my thirteen year old. I had this conversation with y'all all the time too. Social media is gonna be the death of everybody because there is no reason to give that give people that much power over you, yo. But they like do. You, it's so weird to me that we seek validation from that shit. Like it is so fucking strange to me. You don't know these people. There's a difference between friends and followers. True. I care about my friend circle. I don't care about the followers. Yeah, but you know, I guess people care about that because perception wise. You get different respect. It's like, oh, it, it take it like it makes people take you a little bit more seriously. No, seriously. they don't because no only doing is paying for it. If people are paying for it, would you say Taylor? Taylor, <laughs> not the <this> side. <laughs> I feel like you're only saying that too because you're Charlemagne the guy. What I mean? Do you think that if you're a regular person, that you wouldn't, you still wouldn't care about social media? Lenard McKelvey has always felt validated. Okay, but we're in the. Because I had a praying grandmother and a praying mother, and they used to always instill empowerment in me. I've always felt good. The only time I ever got down on myself, I always say the biggest thing: the 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 the, the person that matters the most is you. Of course, it ain't about what everybody else says about you; it's about, about what you say about yourself. And I've, <laughs> being that I grew up on a dirt road in Mount Clemens, South Carolina. The only thing I could ever have to transcend my circumstances is what I was telling myself. So I will never give motherfuckers that much power. I mean, I think that's great. But in this generation, it's almost as if you're not bragging about your accomplishments, then you're not really accomplishing anything. I don't I don't believe it. No, it's like people. Yeah. Yeah. People just don't respect you. Like you could be building a whole like during the pandemic. 
Well, I don't know. I can't really use you as an example because you didn't match it. But, you know, when you're not doing something, people, if you're not posting it, people think you're really not doing anything. You could be working on creating a TV show. You could be working on yeah. creating a clothing brand. But if you're not posting it, people like these days like to be actively involved every step of the way, especially with like vloggers now who show their lives and celebrities for being, you know, connected to them through this. It's silly. But it's the truth. It's validation. Yeah, people think that they know them because they follow in their whole thing. You get like, that like, blue check, people feel like it. they got one up on you. And then they can, like, get bragging rights. So that's why people are out here buying though. blue checks. The same way as people on social media showing you things and not doing shit. It's yeah. people on social media not showing you anything, but doing everything. That's yeah. true. That's why I don't, even, I don't even like to yeah. announce nothing until it's done. Right. I'm not the guy that's going to walk in the office, take a picture of the logo and say... I'm having a meeting here today. Yeah. Big things popping. Yeah, that's like, like that's like girls showing their ass and them to make the ones fucking. The ones that's fucking and runs in the DMs. They, they ain't out there showing their ass. Them the nasty ones. The ones that are out there, they just getting pictures. I'm just telling you the truth. That motherfucker Wax will not stay on road. He, <laughs> that motherfucker. That's why he like ATVs and shit. He is going off the road. Okay? Well, like that the, motherfucker need an ATV yeah. or a truck that can go mud. Oh he is going off road. <laughs> you don't even got to worry about that. Well, if we on the highway, he going off road. <laughs> if Wax driving. You For don't even sure. got to worry about that. But yeah, I just don't get it. God bless everybody. But I'm telling you, that shit is going to be the death of you. Because an OG quote, if you live for the cheers, you'll die by the booze. Simple as that. If you live for the cheers, you'll die by the booze. And don't none of the motherfuckers on social media love you. But you also do see people making whole careers out of the life that they're pretending Fuck to. Their live. Whole careers, man. But do we really know if they? Do we know if they're really winning in real life? Nope. We don't know. All of this shit is an they're illusion. On a mattress. You don't know. You really don't know what they're doing in real they life. You have no idea. Well, That's let's it. say this. The Kardashians, we've been watching their life vlog style for years don't, now. Don't, don't, don't talk about the Los Angeles Lakers and shit. Nah, 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 <laughs> don't talk about the dynasty. But they, oh, yeah. but they don't talk about been. the 80s They've been showing us, they show That's us different. every step of the way of the nah, process. Nah, 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 nah. you talking about dynasties though. now. It's now you're different. talking about greatness. All right? We ain't we ain't talking about them. We talking about regular Joe Blow. No, I'm talking about everybody. Because those because it works for them, everybody wants to do it. That's their problem. That's the, exactly. That, it that, ain't for you. I got a chapter in my book called Fuck Your Dreams If They're Not Your Dream. And the reason that we always think, we look at people like that and we think that's our dream because we see it working for somebody. Mm -hmm. Just because you see it working for somebody don't mean it's going to work for you. That's true. So you got to find your dream. What is your What's thing your that heart? you're good at? You know what I mean? Don't look at somebody else and say, oh, that shit working for them? I can do it too. Yeah. What That may not be what God got for you. <laughs> yeah. What is, yeah. You said what? Yeah, keep they trying. can try. You can try. Yeah, you, trying to be the Kevin Durant. Try, yeah. That's right. Trying is great. You try, and you and hopefully you're smart enough to realize, nah, this ain't what I'm supposed <laughs> to be doing. See, that's why I never have a problem like giving advice or like telling people what I've done because it's like, you know, I could tell you, but it doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. Nah, you got to right. go through what you went through to be able to get it. Yeah. That's right. Uh, rest in peace, Gilbert Godfrey. Oh man, he died at the age of 67. 67. I like this guy, young, man. man. I like this guy. He's young, man. 67 years old is too young, man. I need to still be here at 67. Yes. That's why I'm going to get that goddamn finger in my ass. Get that prostate You check, don't have man. to do that shit no like, more. Like what? What are you talking about? You still going to get his finger in your ass? Well, you got to do... Well, I think they do your blood first, and then it depends what's in your blood, and then you get the finger in your ass. Uh, Either way, I could get my blood. Gonna be okay. You guys know that men have a G-spot in their butt? That's what but the streets say. But who got time for that shit? Is that what the streets say, that's or that's why you're going to get a finger in your ass? Because I'm going to get my prostate checked, Nyla. Um, but the thing is, you only you have, is a blood thing is a blood thing now. You saying it all vividly, like, you yeah, because I'm getting a finger in my ass. Crazy. Like, you women, looking forward to this shit. Like, women, are usually, it. women are usually the people who encourage men no, to no, go to the doctor. No, you definitely should go to the doctor. But it's men who usually discourage other men from getting prostates because of things that you said. That you just said. It's so problematic. Because I'm like... you to talk about tune. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah this, is, this is a real no, simple conversation. I'm no. letting you know. Shame me for getting my prostate check? I'm not shaming you. millions of men listening to this who are like, damn, I can't go get my prostate check now because of Nyla. No, 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 no. That's no, not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, don't act like you're going to get your prostate when the whole time you're just going for your own enjoyment. If I, hopefully I it is a pleasurable enjoyment. experience. Because you guys both agree that you knew that your G-spot is there. I saw American and can't Pie. Wait. You saw American Pie. Stifler. I don't remember that part. Mm -hmm. Come on, everybody remembers Stifler got... Fingered in his ass. I think he was getting his prostate no, checked, he, too. No, he got, say, smashed the pie. No. No, man. They, were like, they were like milking him or some shit like that to get the come out. 
The first one. <laughs> really? I remember. I remember, I remember, I remember <laughs> the rules. I don't remember this part. Saying, which pie is this pie? <laughs> I remember the guy on the roof. Yeah, I man. remember the the older mom who had to have sex with the uh, the, the stiff. The Stifler. Stifler was that's she isn't she the one that was fingering Stifler? The old nah, woman? It was uh he was um doing a semen donation. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She was there you go. Yeah. So because God put y'all G spots in your buttholes, you guys, have y'all ever been interested in exploring that? If there is taking a shit. If if there is a G spot in your butt, it's because God knows that we have to get our prostates checked. <laughs> so he wants to make it an enjoyable experience. <laughs> or she wants to make it an enjoyable experience. When we're getting our prostate checked. So you you did that to your doctor? Have I done what to my doctor? <laughs> you've uh... So hold on. No, I so... haven't got the prostate checked yet, but I'm getting one. I'm you've so, never so... done it? So you're telling I'm only me... only 43, but I should have already got one. So you're yeah, telling you should have. If, if you do your G spot, you nut? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck out of here. <laughs> you mean, man? Why you acting like you already know? You can do that shit yourself. Why you acting like you already know? <laughs> oh, listen. <laughs> Why so you, you telling like me that? a doctor gonna put his finger in your ass mm-hmm. and you a nut? Maybe. Yes. I'm, I'm gonna see how many black doctors got knocked out. That's why Amber Rose... Why you knock the man out because why... you nutted? How <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be mad at the man? The man doing his that? job. <laughs> He's doing his job checking your prostate. You nut. And you gonna knock him out? <laughs> Somebody got answered that That's shit. That's why Amber Rose. What you mean? You, 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 once again, the mirror. Turn around. Look at your butt. Whatever the fuck you were saying. You know what I mean? That, no yes. way. Uh, Yo, that's why Amber this, Rose said Kanye likes fingers in his booty is because of the G spot. Oh, okay, listen. So if he say if he make you nut, right? <laughs> what the fuck is he thinking? <laughs> Nothing. He's doing his job. Do you tell your wife you just cheated on her? No. If, if he if he if he, for, oh, listen. If the doctor is checking your prostate. <laughs> and you get hard and you nut, the doctor gonna do what they always do and mind their business because he don't got nothing to do with your sexuality or what you like. <laughs> well, that's not cool. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> what? Really? Taylor, t- get on the mic. Floor is yours. I've never heard this. <laughs> <laughs> this is... That's the case? No, I mean, I'm I don't not saying I'm orga- I'm not that. saying I'm orgasming. I'm just saying, like, T- say what you just said. Taylor. I'm not saying <laughs> so I'm saying like, that girls, like, when we go to the gynecologist, Taylor says she and they put, I don't know what that thing is called that they put up us, but a dildo. When it comes out, it's not a dildo. Toy. When it comes out, nut. There's, or no, I shouldn't say nut, but you know, there's. <laughs> you talking the about thing. the thing that they put in that stretches you, and then they swab, and it comes out. The yeah, yes. That's not, 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 that's, that's not, that's Taylor, not, that's not, that's not, that's not, Taylor, after hearing about the Summer's Eve and the specialty soap, I'm going to say that's discharge. And... <laughs> <laughs> that's what I think. Is it common discharge the same thing in a way, though? No. No. Why? I don't even have a vagina. Why? I know that. No, I know no, that. No. <laughs> oh, wait, tell me, so what's the difference? Because they, the, they look the same to me. You, I'm not your the, gynecologist, but look. I know coming discharge not the same thing. You never. That's eggs. Let's just, let's That's white eggs on your meat, man. Let's look it up so we no, can be accurate. No, it's not. He never had a girl cream. That's eggs. And then she dilating. Man, what is y'all talking about? Man? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> is it certain time of the month that she get eggs on your meat? <laughs> Her eggs is coming down. Her eggs is coming down. <laughs> What is I'm a discharge is not the same it's thing. Not. I'm about to look it up. <laughs> I know it's not. <laughs> a certain amount of my, her egg her eggs is coming down and that means she's ovulating and, and that's that's the, that's what's on your meat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> ovulating. Ovulating. No. That's that fucking <laughs> movie. Ovulating two is coming out. <laughs> no. from Disney. I'm that's, telling you, that's what it is. Because not all the time in the month it does that. It's a bit creamier when they are ovulating. Yeah. yeah. But that's There's not some gynecologist listening to us so mad right now. Cycle. Can we do some asking idiots, Taylor? <laughs> Dude, that, that was a question. I, right I think there. we should clear up what it is. Taylor, you too old to not know this. There's about yeah, seven man. different fluids I'm reading right there. <laughs> and we eat it? <laughs> Can we please go to ask idiots? Please. <laughs> what the fuck is Can this? We, <laughs> we got ketchup, mustard, <laughs> coleslaw. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in plain text, sperm are produced in the testicles while cervical mucus is produced in the cervical linings. Cervical mucus can protect the sperm during ovulation or it cannot during the non-ovulation period. Well, I don't know what y'all talking about. That like, so that, that's why you spin on it, 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 get, it get loose. Yeah, men have sperm. Duh. Hold and we on. got balls. What are you looking like? Okay. 
I looked up the Y'all need to talk to y'all gynecologists. This is between sperm and cervical mucus. Why do you think guys spit on it and then loosen it right up? What is y'all talking about? All right, fucking ask the idiot. Word is wrong. <laughs> Y'all need to spend more time with y'all self. Let's <laughs> <laughs> well, go to the doctor. You didn't do, do oh, shit. You're right. Let me pay some bills. Thank you, Taylor. Lord have mercy. This vagina conversation was <laughs> the fucking disgusting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My God. Who's be eating that shit all the fucking time, too? Please, you do. <laughs> Vaginas are wild. Be Listen. Ass. At least we know what the ass does. The ass is very simple. It's only one yes. thing that comes out the goddamn Period. ass. Period. And if it ain't okay. clean, you're in trouble. And blood if you got hemorrhoids. All right, salute to DraftKings. Oh. The Good NBA awesome. playoffs mean next level basketball. Get ready for all the action by betting the play-in tournament with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. New customers can bet $5 on any team to win and get $150 in free bets instantly. You clinch a win no matter what. All DraftKings Sportsbook customers can also bet on NBA hoops with same game parlays. Combine multiple bets from the same game for a bigger payout. The more legs you add, the more money you can win. Plus, for each day of the play-in, get a risk-free bet up to $10 if your same game parlay doesn't hit. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code IDIOTS. Bet $5 on any NBA team to win their game during the play-in tournament and get $150 in free bets instantly. That's promo code IDIOTS at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. Let's get back to the show. Okay, let's do some Asking Idiots. What we got, Taylor Gang? Ooh, by Ku Art. I like this question. By Ku Art says, when was the last time you redefined success? Um, The last time I redefined success, I think success is constantly redefined for you because success yeah. is very subjective. Mm-hmm. And we live in a world where people, well, especially in America, people equate success the celebrity and people yes. equate success to a whole lot of money when the reality is success is doing whatever makes you happy. Period. And I say it all the time. There's somebody right now in Charlotte, North Carolina with $50,000. You know, they make about $50,000 a year. They got a nice crib. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they might got an apartment. They got a dope wife. They got kids. Whatever it is, you know, but they got food Top on their the table world. and they're happy. Mm-hmm. That's what success is. You know what I mean? Success is going to be redefined for me in the future. It's redefined for me now when I talk about my kids. Like, when I see mm-hmm. my kids making the honor roll, or I see my kids just becoming, you know, great humans out here on this planet. Like, that's success. So success is constantly, for me at least, is constantly redefined. It hit me up this weekend. Um, I was eating White Castles. And when my stomach stopped hurting, success. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you can successfully... Get through. I got past that. Eating white I thought, castles, that, I thought yes. that was never going to stop. My stomach was fucked up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or it could be something as simple as like doing a workout. So my cousin Tones, with the perm. He be having us doing some wild shit, and I be seeing him do it. I'm like, I can't, I'm not able to do that. So you'll be able to when you start and doing. And then when you do it, you're like, oh shit. You success. know what I mean? Yeah, nah, That's real. success. Is that me. goals or success? It's a great question. That's a great question. I don't know. That's a great question. I'm glad you said that because like that's what when I when I was talking about, well, I'll be describing about how you know my my I said to myself I want to be the biggest radio personality in the world. That was a goal, but there was no intention behind it. So I don't know if that's goals or success. I mean, maybe it's both. Because if you set a goal and you achieve it, that's success, you right? Successfully did it. Yeah, I don't know. What about you, Nile? When the last time you redefined success? Um. Uh. I don't know. Taylor just sent me this article, though, that says that cervi- cervical fluid is the same as vagina discharge. Yeah, I, There is yeah, an article. I don't no, even know y'all. Really so. I don't think y'all showing us y'all, y'all, y'all What is cervical yourself? fluid? I, it's generally because... So that's supposed to be What coming, is cervical right? fluid, though? Cervical fluid may be the cervix travels through the vagina canal and exits through the vagina. That don't mean it's cum. It says it's vagina... So every y'all time need you get, to talk to y'all guy in college. Yeah, yeah that's like, what every I time like you get touchy, I, like, I don't got no questions. I'm I'm working fine. All I get from this is y'all might need panty lines. Yes, shit is going on. Or soon you're gonna need one. Anyway, she um, dripping. She dripping. She dripping. Came through dripping. Trip, trip. Came through dripping. Pee pee. 
This might pee. Pee pee. Who got the key? Oh my gosh. All right, so success. <laughs> Y'all niggas are so damn childish. Oh my God. Who got the key? Oh shit! That's a good one. Man. God bless right. y'all. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate yes, it. God y'all bless the you. ones we over here minding our business and y'all talking about you know dribbling. Well, you sent them to me, so I was trying to read it because that's you know, what we that, were talking that about. That means you don't know yourself. Every that's time right. You, every no, time I knew you, enough. I know enough. I knew that that shit is different. I don't know from you. Wife, you got you got discharged. You don't know when to no, listen. Not what I say. You don't know when to tell let Taylor let you out the car. You gotta be like Trey in the back seat with some Taylor is Doughboy. Yes. You gotta say, Tay, let me out. <laughs> no. No. Tay, no. Tay, Tay, let, let me, me out. out. Okay? Oh my god. She gosh. got you on this ride for no Shoot reason. Shit up. <laughs> <laughs> no, you wanna be here. Have you asked your gynecologist all kind of shit? And she got in college like, what's wrong? What's wrong? Yeah, well, let, your let, let me see that about, stick when you're done. You got eight different fluids coming out of you and <laughs> Come and discharge is the same thing and oh, whatever. Um, it's eggs, man. What else we got? Scroll down, Taylor. What else we got? Blood do, and eggs. Let's do two more asking to this. <coughs> uh, oh, man. <laughs> At I Am King Vegas says, did y'all watch the Brooklyn Subway Killers viral clips? Uh, and do you agree or disagree? No, I didn't watch nah. all of his viral clips. I, I heard clips. a little bit, but I ain't got time for that shit. I think that what 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 I find so sad about the subway killer? Number one, I'm happy nobody died. I'm happy nobody got killed. Um, sending healing energy to everybody who got injured. What I find sad about the subway killer is that that man has been posting those viral videos all of these years. On those viral videos, he's talking about wanting to be violent. He's talking about wanting to hurt people. He's talking about wanting to hurt government officials and whoever else. He's saying how he sometimes he has these thoughts of killing people. Mm-hmm. Somebody should have intervened. Mm-hmm. What do you, you do? know what though, I mean? Bro? What do you do? They, they out in the streets every single day. Somebody you know should have intervened. Like, you, listen, we can't, you can't just detect mental illness. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. You know what I'm saying? But he's articulating himself very well on those videos and he's telling you what you want to do. That's why these social media sites have to be monitored in a different way. Because if I get on this podcast or I get on the Breakfast Club and I say I want to cause harm to an elected official, <laughs> Them boys going to be right there or, or, knocking or, or, on the door. they coming to take you down, which I don't agree with. I think you should let that, them people who actually showing that keep showing it so we know exactly what it is. They take them down and take it away. They like hiding them. No, but if you show it too much, if, if you continue to allow, if you let it fester, let it grow, it turns into what we saw this week. So that's why you got to intervene. Like, as soon as you hear somebody talking like that, let me go see what the fuck's going on. It's literally like if, if somebody in this room right now was like, man, I feel like killing myself. I'm having a bad day. You ain't going to just keep going. You gonna stop and be like, "Yo, what's up, man?" You know what I mean? Like, so it should you? be the same thing when we hear You're somebody hungry? talk about violence. Yeah, you know. So I be feeling like we don't, we really don't um, take our mental, mental, mentally ill no, people they as serious. They throw them out should. in the street like that could right. be any one of these motherfuckers. I make do pushups all the time. That's right. They all aggressive like that. And like, also, I just don't think it's safe for videos like that to be online because then other people who resonate with that same thinking that is sick will agree, and then they might go do something. Even if the video gets online, where is the policing of social media to immediately, when a first video like that goes up, there's some type of division they can send it to yeah. where the, whoever mm-hmm. needs to intervene, the FBI, CIA, can say, let's go visit this guy. Let's yeah. go do a wellness check on this person. Mm-hmm. Let's see what, what's going on well, with they him. they don't care about our damn wellness. That's my point. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I don't think it there. should be the FBI, I'm saying. Like, I think it should be like Mental a health new... health professionals. Yeah. Yeah. New they need to have that for the police or something, right? They should, they, the they, sh- they should, but they don't. They got it for the kids. They should, but they don't. Like, And, and, and it's, there's this thing called uh, involuntary, I don't know, 5150, and involuntary uh, psycho- psych- psychological hospitalization are the same thing. But whenever they think that you could harm somebody or be a danger to yourself, they lock you up. Mm. And that's what they should do. Like, Somebody like that, clearly he shouldn't have been on the street. Well, in New York, they said that if you do something and you're mentally ill, they will send you to trial. But because the the um, it's either jail or the crazy house, mm-hmm. and the crazy uh-huh. house and the jail is full, so they're just sending people free. Right, hey, let them know. They're they going to they bring you to the hospital. They don't care. A couple hours. going to make you write some shit. They're going to put you right back on the street. They, they don't, don't have to, all these motherfuckers. And then all when, the time. And when something like this happens and everybody looking around, they just all of a sudden want to vilify him. You know, he's a criminal. He's this and that. Yeah, he he created, he did, he did commit a criminal act, 
But what are the steps that led him to creating that criminal act? I want to know where is he going to go? Because if he's back on the street motherfucking next week, that's a problem. No, nah, I don't think he's going to be back on the street. Nah, nah, no, but, they, they but said the guy, that. The guy in, who pushed the lady into the train, he was back on the street. I'm, I'm saying like no. these. Yo, back on street, these bro. people are getting right back out. They get yeah. locked up. They get detention for a few days, and then they go back on the street because they don't got no room well, this, for this them. This is too high profile. This they, too high. Yeah, they're not yeah, going to do that. Like, he, he, this is too high profile. I need to see it to believe it. And honestly, I think we need to maybe send people to other states. What? Like, okay, Mars? if we don't got no room here, then send them to fucking Delaware. No, we need new everywhere facilities. That's the up. problem with L.A. Everywhere fucking L.A. Yeah. has so much homeless because so many other states sent them to L.A. We need new facilities. I'd rather be homeless in L.A. than homeless over here. Yeah. The you should not nice. rather be homeless, period. Well, I mean, I, we, yeah, I don't. We need new facilities. We need facilities for the mentally disturbed. Yes. We need facilities for the homeless. Mm-hmm. Like, you got to create facilities. All this fucking money America they, got. They have it, though, man. They, they shut it down. I don't know what the fuck happened. This shit is crazy. It's not even far away from where we at. It, yeah, they like have one. Yeah, it's right yeah. in the corner. And they stand outside to get their meds. And a lot of them got to stand in line so long, they just get out of line and they end up over there asking for a fucking dollar. Mm. Shit kind of wild. Janine Hamed. Let's end on this one. This is a good one to end on because it's kind of like ties up a lot of the stuff we've been talking about. If you could only teach your daughters one thing, what would it be? How to pray. That's it. If that's the only thing I get to teach you, how to pray, man. If you could only teach your daughters one thing. Uh, after I teach them how to pray, everything else is a wide range thing. Because I can't teach her not to talk to boys or get in trouble. Or you can't teach that. Yeah, it's interesting, right? Because my, my, my first thought is love. But then I had to think, I said, can you actually teach love? Certain things you can't teach. You can't control yeah, your feelings. I, uh, my brain went to like know yourself and love yourself. But that's the, yeah, that's that's why I said love. Because if you teach them, if you teach, if you if you instill love in your child, right? So I guess that's what teaching them love well, is. When you pour the wrong into person, them. but the wrong thing. But if they have, but if they have so much self love, that'll never happen. You know what I mean? Because if they have, if you pour love into them, then they know what love really is, what love really looks like, and they'll have love for self in a real way. But a lot mm-hmm. of times, we got so much love, you need to give it out. I think, yeah, I think when you're full of self-love, you do. You do that regardless. And you'll know who is deserving of your love as well. You never do. I know somebody uh, who always give, who always get taken advantage of. Always. Is she in this room? Uh, oh. Listen. Why are you trying to be shady? What? I didn't say nothing. Listen. No, I didn't what listen. other things? Cause not, <laughs> not, no, no. Yo, this name about to piss me. So what did I do? Nyla's a good, Nyla's a good woman, right? A good example. What are the things that your dad instilled in you? The, that, that's the one thing your dad instilled in you that you think makes you who you are. See, I was going to say love, and I was agreeing with what you guys were saying, but like Wax said, You'll love everybody, and then you'll get burned a few times, yes. and then you'll learn, like, okay, I can't, I can still love, but I can't love this freely. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. like, mm. I don't know, though. So, that's why I feel like. You can't do it, bro. Because people take it for weakness. I think. People take the love and, and, and use it in other ways to try to hurt you. I agree with all okay. that, but guess what? Nobody in this room, except for Taylor, will ever not love people. Cause we're loving people. <laughs> cause we're, no, cause we're naturally loving people. You know what I'm saying? So we can't help it. We can't help it. No, you saying. know what I mean? So even if we say to ourselves, "Nah, I'm not gonna do this. It's gonna be the time I put a cap on it. I'm not gonna do this video. I'm gonna set boundaries with this person." You not. You might set your boundary, but that's not gonna stop you from assisting Still the person it. or yes. loving on the person. You know, my what uncle, mean? I've been saying I'm not gonna get this motherfucker another forty dollars. Got forty dollars again. Two <laughs> twenties. No. Two twenties is for y'all. Oh yeah. What? What? What did I? Do? <laughs> what are you talking about? What why are you talking did about? You, why did he, he, you? He's always do gonna that. throw something that in there. That was a straight bullet. That like, I don't know why, why you did I that. To that. <laughs> what? What did I say? I don't you know think, what he's talking you think about yours either, is worse though. than mine? No, I was saying because Taylor's mean. Taylor's not naturally loving. And what are you? I am loving. And actually, don't. And you're from Philly. What they call Philly? And, what do you call Philly? The mean lovely. city or some no, shit? No, John's. Oh, no, it is the city of love. Damn, I'm bugging. Exactly. Which is some Shut bullshit, the by the way. Uh, it's the opposite. Philly, Taylor mean. You want to fight. <laughs> no, I'm only mean Taylor to re- people like listen, you. Taylor really naturally mean. <laughs> no. Taylor is mean. <laughs> yeah. Why am I mean? No, explain why I'm mean. And I'm going to tell you another reason. Taylor, like Taylor's one of my favorite people to keep <laughs> key with. 
Ask? Because oh. Taylor, one of my favorite people to kiki with, because I'll go to Taylor and I'll be like, Taylor, you, you see such and such? <laughs> and then Taylor will act like she ain't see it. Then, then Taylor will be like, you know what I was thinking, though? <laughs> and then she'll rattle off a whole list of shit about the thing that I just said something about. And she's like, well, I, I didn't even pay no attention. So, bullshit. But that's Taylor not me. being mean, though. Taylor, you mean. I can't be mean. mean. You're absolutely mean. right. Taylor's mean. Taylor's mean. I think Taylor's mean. You think I'm just mean all in general? I think you're mean Can be. until you really until start to... Until pisses me off. I'm a very loving person. Have I ever been mean to you, Nyla? Okay. <laughs> Damn, I have. No, let's no, no, get, no. Before we leave, let's get some truth out. Let's finally somebody hey, let's get the tell the truth. Let's go. This, I, okay. You are not a friendly person. You're oh, not. There you there go. You're go. not a friendly there person. Why? No. But you're not necessarily, like, you're not mean to you're me, about, and like, you I'm weren't not, mean. Like, to me. I'm not. A you're not inviting. Like, you're not gonna be like, "Yo, what's up?" Like, it, like you gotta, you gotta get to know somebody. Right now, she I really think Taylor. Taylor has, no, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think Taylor has a lot. This is what I love about Taylor. Taylor's very honest. Yeah. You ain't gonna. You ain't never gotta worry about what Taylor is thinking. She gonna always Word tell you the truth, <laughs> and she's gonna say it. You talk about my tone and say, and I know how to say shit. She's gonna do that, but she has boundaries, and I think she knows her boundaries. And if she don't fuck with you. She don't fuck with you until she fuck with you. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't like that. Yeah, like, we'll talk to anybody. No we problem. We straight animal picker up first. Yeah. <laughs> but, Taylor, she gonna wait like three months and then maybe have a conversation That's right. with you. And by then, feel you ain't gonna you like out. her. Yeah. But I gotta fill you out. You gonna already look somebody up, not the up and down two months <laughs> straight. After three months, I don't like but her. But also, you have to remember, no, 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 <laughs> I could be very moody, so if I'm not in the right mood, I'm not gonna like. Well, you proving us right. We talk, We no, know you. But, no, 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 no. But that's not me being mean. Though I'm really trying to protect y'all, <laughs> like for real. For, for not being mean. No, I mean, no you know I, what though? I Taylor's that. right. Taylor's right. right. That. Cause I go in there sometime and I'll say something to Taylor. Taylor's like Charlemagne, I'm not in the fucking mood today. And what do I do? Get up. Press harder. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean <laughs> that's just how I am. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, now I'm going to be very irritable on purpose. No. Now I'm going to push her. I do stupid shit like just push her door open oh for no God. reason and walk off. I'm right. I'm sure 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 I'm if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. Thank you for listening to the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. <laughs> <laughs>